Babe? Did she sham my husband? What is wrong with him? Why is he so bothered? Papa, hmm? with all due respect, hmm. continue to send them in. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey! Oh, continue to send them in. Yes, send them in. Yes. Send them in. <laughs> now, now, no, no, no. I send them in. Yes. Send them in. Yes. Oh! Oh, go. Let me see you in the garagana. Eh? Eh? Wow, Amara. Share everything. Give them drink. Let them drink the okay. egg and everything. Okay. Oh? Just like that. Well, why are you not this year? Well, why are you not here? Well, why are you not here? I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not Wow, 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 bro. This is beautiful. This place must have cost you a fortune. Oh, well, you already know that I have eyes for good things. So. Oh, yes, <laughs> I know that, I know that. <laughs> wow! Yeah. Look at this exquisite decoration, man. Uh -huh. This is beautiful. Oh, look at who is talking. Look at this millionaire in dollars talking like one wee bar pusher. Come on, man, I know you. Hey, bro. <laughs> you can just... fix this real quick if you want. Just we're like trying, we're trying. Ah! <laughs> hey, the love of my life. <laughs> so, okay. I'm I'll see you then. So, can you. <laughs> but you already know. Oh, yes! You I already know. know. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> hey! Ah! <laughs> This is, this is, this is, this is really big. Damn! What is it? Oh, can, you, can you just, can you just shut up? Is everything all right, man? the gods to come back to Nigeria and get married to another woman. <clears throat> Honestly, when I had the news, I, I was surprised myself. <laughs> you know, you forgot that I made you and I can also destroy you. You, you want to bite the hands that Actually fed you, right? Just wait until I see you. Then you will feel the rage of a bitter woman. Babe, take it easy. You, you need to calm down. What has happened has happened. Please, I don't want you to allow this to disorganize you. Okay? Wow, wow, wow. Madam, where are you? 
I must say Charles has a good taste. Aren't you going to close your gate? Leave this gate. I like and like this. Leave him. Never answer me. Who are you? And where are you going with this big box? Well, my name is Sandra. I am the UK Queen. Hmm? I am Charles's wife. I am back home and I am here to stay. Do you have a problem with that? With Charles? I understand that most of the apes in this country understand is money. What can I say? What can I do? 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 Oh yeah. It's time I want to be a turn in my flesh. Here we have in the past this long gun. So what do you want? Just in the majority. And you're making this life unlivable. Manage what you want and tell me I will pay. I can't believe that you asked me to stay. This whole thing doesn't make any sense. You know, you know. You know, you know, you know what do you do now? You know, you know. 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 Why so you? Oh, okay, okay, what about uh, the What are you doing here? Is that the best way to welcome your I wife? I ask you a question. What are you doing here? Hmm. Honey, who is she? Sweetheart, you don't have to worry your head about her. It's just a nobody. A what? Excuse me, what did you just address me as? You know what? You are nothing but a slimy, demented, retarded idiot. What? An imp. You had the guts to eat my money? Come back here and get married to this retarded, this, this, this what? And you're telling her I'm a nobody? You are sick in the head. You're going to do me a favor. You shut that tunnel in your face. I won't. And I can't. And as for you, you better say you decrease. You better say something to the boy for head, Abby. He didn't mad. Eh? You the bugger, eh? Now me, they ask him, say, who I be? Because I never got something to whack your head, now, be? You the crazy. Listen to me, I don't know what this man told you. But one thing is certain, this is my husband's house. This is my house. Oh, you my. don't belong here. What's she talking about? She's, is she saying she's going to break my head? No, I'm going to break your damn nose. I will so break your nose. Shut up. Honey, don't worry, honey. Explain everything to you. She's yeah. just a loser. Ah, oh, of course I am a loser. But let me tell you something. Let's know who is a loser. It's either you move your things to the guest house, better still, the get my house, because that's where you belong. Else, I will so whoop your tacky, wacky ass off this house, and I will do it. He knows me. Oh, oh please! Babe. Babe! What's that stage? What was that stage? Shut up. Well, I, I'm trying. You know, I can't believe you moved from, from this to, to that. You're going to shut up. I won't. Just I... tell her to get some silver made for her intimacy and her vagina stains. Damn, what was that? Do you have some air freshener? Oh, I got a perfume. I got some good perfumes from UK. Trust me, it will make the house smell very nice. I 
what is it? Only I can explain. Explain what? I am not married to her. All we had was contract marriage and it ended a long time ago. Contract marriage? Yes. So you were one of those boys that travel abroad, get married to someone there, come back down here and get married to another, right? No. That's not how it works. There's a reason we do these things over there. Just to have resident permit and to, to do your business freely without the interference of the police. It was strictly contract. No feelings attached. So my love, I need you to stay calm. See that girl down there? I'll sort her out immediately. You have nothing to fear. Absolutely nothing. Please stop crying. If you think you'll make my life a living hell, you'd better think again. There is no space for you here. <laughs> you don't belong here. <laughs> Take your filthy self and this baggage. Leave. <laughs> Do you actually think I feel for how many hours? I want to wait from UK to this place to listen to some minion jokes. Nigga, please. Try some other code. <laughs> we had was a contract. Three months contract that ended a long time ago. You didn't make a case then. Why are you making a case now? Well, you're right. We had a contract marriage. But, I mean, I gave you more than that. I gave you so much affection, love. All I wanted from you was just to stick to me. But no. That's, I mean, the smart chows run back to Nigeria here to spend my money on some shrimp he calls a wife. <laughs> and you think I'm going to let you enjoy that money with that thing? Please. What's, what's all this nonsense you're talking about? Listen, are you going to leave this house in peace or would you want me to force you? You dare not. You won't until we dare. You know, I know about your contract with um, Chivex company. And I made them shop list to me in the slot. Do you actually think that it was by your power? By your grace? I did it. Listen, I made you and I can instead destroy you. They shock you. <laughs> you know, I changed my mind. I think I should just call the MD and let them take your name out. Uh, uh, Don't uh, this bullshit. Uh, uh, what do you want? Well, now you're talking. Hmm. I want my man back. I want you. It's not too hard to ask. Thank you. 
should be staying for a few days. A few days? To do what exactly? She's trying to use the law against me. This is not fair. This is not fair. This, this, this is not what I planned for myself. I'm sorry. But I think it's about that time I let me break it down for you. I think you need to know. There is this contract I've been chasing for some time now. Chivex International Limited. I'm supposed to earn over 200 million naira from that. I never knew it was Sandra who submitted my name. Now she has threatened to remove my name and also make them terminate the contract. So my love, I beseech you, let us have her. Let us tolerate her until I'm able to secure the contract I have with Chivex International Limited. Until then, please, let, let's just tolerate her. It won't be long. That's one thing I promise you, it won't be long. Please, I beg you, no matter what she does, whatever she does, I want you to tolerate her. Be here with her. Please. Tolerate her. You're not doing this for her. You're doing this for love. We need to secure that contract. Please, my love. Tolerate her. I promise you it won't be long. Please. Please. Baby, come on. Come on, you know, I, I hate to see you like this. Hello. Sorry, um, baby, why is my room unkept? I mean, why is it looking so tacky? Listen, I need you to understand that we don't have house help. But when you stepped into this house, have you seen any other person that's had me and my wife? Are you crazy? What the hell does your wife do in this house? I mean, she should come up here and clean up my room. You must be out of your goddamn mind. Listen, all right, all right. I'll come do it myself. You will do what? Listen to me. I do not want to see you or your dad's lousy get man close to my room. I swear to God, I'm going to set you guys ablaze. Tell that imp that she must come to this room to clean it up. Come on, Sandra. Wife, my food. What the hell is she doing this house apart from eating my damn money? What nonsense. Hmm? 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 
I ask you for one favor. Please. What's this? What? Bitter what? Is this some food for some hippopotamus or some elephant? For human being, for human being consumption. For real? No wonder you stink. Now I get where the stench comes from in this house. You eat bitter leaf? Damn girl, you must be bitter down there. And you chaps, how the hell do you even eat this and survive it? How the hell? What is this? You know what? You need to go out there, get me something tangible for me to eat, something that looks like me, not like your stupid damn wife. This would be so Shut up! Oh, don't you get out of here! Shut up! <laughs> Who 
rubbish. Beat off my foot. Stop it. What the hell is going on? Is Charles deceiving me or what? How can he say he's no longer married to this lady and yet she has such control over him? And what does he mean by saying she's capable of destroying him? Is she a witch or something? What will I do now? I dare not tell anyone this. Who should I talk to now? Who? Amara, mm -hmm. you have to listen to me and listen to me carefully. It is not about getting excited that you want to get married. Neither do I want to discourage you from getting married. But I will advise you as a mother. Because every mother's dream is to see the daughter get married happily. And she will come for a Mugo visit in return. With the liquid here. Yeah. You and Charles are two different individuals from different backgrounds coming together as man and wife. It will come with a lot of challenges. Good one and bad one. There are some behaviors you have never seen in jazz. He will exhibit them. At the point, you will even think he's pretending. Mom, he is not. That is what is called individual difference. He is not your brother. He is not, he is not your relation. So you people are different. When you quarrel, do not sleep over your quarrel and do not involve a third party, even me. If you have issues with your husband, go to him and resolve it with him. Because third party, Gabuzi reported speech. In the middle of the night, you go and wake him. Charlie? Whenever you call him, I want to talk to you. Calmly, like in Wazo Razo. Obra Kwan Kona Ibuba. Calmly. Put your points. He will understand you. Peace will reign. See this marriage you're fighting to go into? It is not love and fail. Your boyfriend and your girlfriend. No, he's my first love. It is not that type. Marriage is a serious business. Marriage is deeper than that. Charles is the first person you wake up to see every day. He's the last person you see before you go to bed. You're going to be with him. Always. You see him every day. Every minute. Every hour. Except when he's at work. When he makes you angry and does not come to apologize, go and apologize on his behalf for peace to reign. Yes, I do it to your father. Ga, 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 ga. I will go dim, give me sia. Let him come and say, ah, na mara. Oh, akani wakeba, akeba wakani. Later. Even if it does not come to do the Akan Nekwakeba, Akeba Kwakani, calm down so that your marriage 
will be heaven on earth. There will be peace in your marriage. And when you have peace in your marriage, you have peace and you're happy in your heart. Did you hear what I said? Did you understand everything I said? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, thank you so much. I will not disappoint you. Good. I'll try my best to keep my marriage. Another one. Don't ever come to this house to complain. I want to leave my husband's house, so it is for better. And for gaining. Yes. No. Because if you do, before your father will come out, I will drive you back to go to him because you know your father. He is a strict disciplinarian. Not tolerate you coming back from your husband's house. But you can come here on visit with your husband's permission. Not I want to ask my mother. You come back. No. Darling, I want to go and see my mother. You come with your children to come and visit me. That is why when you come here, I will tell you, welcome. I will not tell you, come inside as you are living here. No. Ibiago, that is my greeting for you. Oh, mom. Yes, mama. I promise to fight for my marriage. I will not give up so easily. Good. This kind of thing I need, I need to hear. God bless you. And God will bless your marriage. Amen. Oh, mom. Mm. <laughs> So what do I do now? I don't know if my husband Charles is... If he's lying to me or if he's saying the truth. I don't even know who he is anymore. Yo, bro, this shit is really weighing you down. It's written all over. Man, you're not balanced at all. Oh, come on. How am I going to be balanced? I wasn't expecting all this. I mean, I never, I never thought of this in my wildest imagination. I thought you said how you guys have just a contract marriage. So what the fuck is she doing here? I'm equally surprised. To be frank with you, Kev, I don't know. Everything I had with Sandra ended back in the UK. I'm surprised to see her here in this country trying to make my life a living hell. What did I do wrong? We had a contract. Long expired. Signed, sealed, deal. We go our separate ways. It was properly written. I don't know what she's doing here trying to make my life a living hell. So why can't you send her out? <laughs> you have no idea, girl. She has been threatening. Oh. She's been threatening a whole lot. You know what? what? I think I have an idea. Why don't we sit and talk with her? Let me promise her settlement. How about that? Pay her off. All right. Let's hope your, your plan will work. I'm very sure it's going to work. For a woman like that, I'm sure she likes money. Oh, God help me.
is the meaning of this? I am still watching the movie. Sorry, are you talking to me? No, are you actually talking to me? Yes, it's you I'm talking to. Then you must be sick at the head. You were right sick from your mother's womb. You are sick. Now look at you. You actually... Now let me ask you. I mean, when was you use a proper toothpaste for your set of teeth? Now you tell me. So you think... No, you don't know it stinks. Hello? You can hear it from, I mean, five meters away from wherever you are. It stinks. And then secondly, where you come from, do you guys have lights? Because from your hair, girl, to your toe, you look rumpled. It shows in your life. You look so rumpled. So because you think you came into this house and then they kept some plasma TV for you, which is my own money, you now think you have the right, the gods, the temerity to talk about me. Have you gone my ass? Now you take your own pedicure self out of my sight this moment. Go! Listen, listen, please. I do not want to move further than this. What, I mean, what do you guys want to tell? I mean, you actually brought your friend to come talk to me over what? Can you just give us one minute? All right? I, 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 it's not like I brought him here to insult you or anything, but I brought him here so he could talk to you because you This visit is costing me more harm than good. Yes. Really? Bring a full grown man to me. You brought someone who looks unsatisfied with life. Some stupid hardship hair tie. You look like some hardship idiot. Now you tell me, listen to me, Mr. Man. I don't care where I don't care where you're from. I don't care why you're here. But no matter what you say, I am not going to leave your friend. You know why? Because he is mine. I've spent a whole lot of money on him for him to become mine. And that's it. Well, listen. You had a contract marriage with my friend. Guess what? It's done. Now I want you to name your price. Hmm? And you think you can afford him? Of course I can. Really? <laughs> well, you cannot afford me. Secondly, I am not leaving you. Do you understand that? And you take your stupid self with your stupid high tire and leave my house. Get out. Sunday. Get your head off me. Stupid. What? Bro, is this, is this what, what you have in there? No, this happened right in front of you. Now, you see the rot toilet that I've been nursing in my house? Bro, this is more than what Rottweiler, man. This is a full-grown King Kong. There's nothing I haven't done to make peace with this girl. It just won't work. Oh, come on, bro, bro. Oh, I'm so sorry about this, man. You're uh, you fucked up. You, you know, look, just imagine that I had taken your advice. Marry a city girl. What do you think my house would be now? Iraq? Iran? Boko Haram? On gun, no men. On men, no gun. Man, if this was my house, I will be long gone. Long gone so that she could divorce my wife. No. Uh, talking about your wife, how is she taking this? Oh, you know, my wife is on a quiet side. She's not speaking much. Bro, you fucked up. Real fucked up. Damn! And what are you doing there? What do you want? Mr. Man, listen to me. I do not want to wait for you for more than two minutes. And... You know what? Just bring yourself to this room right now. Out of your mind. Oh, God. I'm asking for the impossible. She... she... She said I, I, 
I should. You should what? I should. I should come to. No, no, no. It's not. Come. It's. Come. To her room. I should. To. Come. To her room? To do what? To. 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 Come. Spend. The night in. In her room. I haven't said I was going to go. Yeah, this I'll go. So, are you going? Sandra, I have had enough. This has to stop. What is wrong with you? I'm a married man. You're a married man. Married to me, not some imp. Are you kidding me? I am your only little wife. So you should respect that. Sandra, what is wrong with you? Am I supposed to keep telling you, or better say, should I keep reciting like a poem? What we had is a contract, long gone. It is not long gone. You're just about to start it. And it is better for you to respect my rules or pay for damages. Come to bed and do the needful. It's possible get some durant to spray on your skin before coming near me because that girl, she stinks. Can you? I'm waiting. Oh, you don't like talking. It's okay. <clears throat> Babe, babe, why you go fuck up like this? Why would you allow a hot guy like that slip off your tips after all the connections you've given him? Babe, you know, you sound as if I intentionally fucked up. Come on, Faith, it was just a contract marriage. There was no strings attached. Do you know how my uncle is? I wanted to do something that would make him get off my back. You know the way he keeps pestering me on when I'm getting married. On the other hand, Jax was desperate for papers, so I thought maybe doing a contract marriage was going to solve the whole problem. But along the line, I, I guess I was foolish. I fell in love with him. It, it, it wasn't my fault. When he gave me all the care and attention, what were you expecting me to do? And you allowed him to return back to Nigeria without you. I did not. What would you have me do? As I am talking to you, babe, this particular car we're talking about, Charles is running for a contract on the Tivex company. And trust me, for his name to be shortlisted there, I have had it. And I told be telling him will make him stay back and want to spend the rest of his life with me, like having a proper wedding and all that. Only for me to see on his status that he's getting married with someone else. Do you know how heartbreaking that was for me? This whole thing happened so fast. I've not even recovered from it, trust me. A guy like Charles is rare. And you know all these our Niger guys, they are smart. You have to do something fast. But are you in other words trying to say that he's gonna do something stupid? He does not. I mean he knows me. He knows I am capable of destroying him just with a snap of my finger. He won't. Look at me. I am done. How many people did I give papers? They always end up dumping me. My dear, I am using my connections for only myself alone. No strings attached, no commitment. Only for making cash. 
Wait a minute. Are you, in other words, trying to say that you do not have a man? You don't have a boyfriend? I am done with relationships. I, I get laid when I want. No strings attached, no commitment. For only making cash. <laughs> I beg you. Where would they see all this kind of hats they buy? Where have you buy them? Huh? You bad. <laughs> you are bad. Mm. Just me. I'm so sorry. In that case, I have to take you to the hospital for a medical checkup as soon as possible. It's alright, baby. Before then, I want to ask you something. Come on, my love, ask me anything. Sandra was going to stay with us for just a few days. It's close to a month now. Wait, Sandra is not even ready to leave this house. Let's not talk about Sandra now. Your health first. When we come back, we'll talk about it. Hmm? So, let's just get dressed and go. No, I don't want to go now. I want to rest for a while. Please, babe, on the heater for me. I'm cold. Hey, Amara. Hey. How are you? Kevin, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome. Thank you very much, Anne. Uh, can I sit? Um. That wouldn't be necessary. How about um, Charles? Uh, he got a call and left immediately. Oh, too bad. That means I have to reschedule my appointment with him. Hmm? Okay, but just please, just sit down. Let me give you something. Don't worry about that. I'm fine. I'll, I'm, I'll have to leave now. Okay? Are you, are you sure? Yes, I'm fine. I don't want to take anything. Like maybe I'm one. good. I'm, I take care. Not so fast. Hi, Sandra. I will like to have a discussion with you. So what is it you wanted us to discuss? You came the other day to talk to me with your friend, right? Oh yes, I did. Nice. And you refused to talk to us. So what's up? Are you ready to name your price? You think it's actually about the price, right? Nah. You know, I... I actually think I... I like you. I think we can do a whole lot together. I mean, I think I like your dealings. Mm -hmm. Trust me, you have a whole lot to gain. So what do you mean by you like my dealings? I saw you in the club last night. You were everywhere. 
I loved your demons. Do you know that guy? <laughs> Who does not know him? He is the hottest and most dangerous guy in town. Everybody knows him. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. You know, I... His face is familiar. I, I think I've met him before. It, I think he's Charles' friend. Oh, really? I mean, did you see the... I mean, he's doing it. Then draw him close and use him. <sighs> what a friend. That's the only thing that can come into your work here. Let's go back. Let's go to one at night. <laughs>
So now you see what I am talking about. You see? I know you more than your friend. Alright, fine. I accept the fact you know me more than my friend. Mm -hmm. I do. So what's up? Stick with me. Be my partner. Support me. I mean, that's all I need from you. Like I said, you have a whole lot to gain. I take it that your silence means that we have mutual understanding. <laughs> what could they be discussing? Why is it that this Sandra of a girl is having influence over everyone? Who is she? the way she just stops Kevin from proceeding to go out. This is serious. What are they even discussing? Sandra talking about. Is she trying to? F well, no. Maybe she's trying to buy me. Or oh, someone who's capable of um, getting Charles's papers. I'm sure she's got all the connections. Alright, Calvin, you don't need to panic and wonder. Let's see what she's got in stock for us. <laughs> I'm sure she's got something good for me. We are fine, Mama. Hmm. I'm so happy to hear from you. <laughs> You're sounding so happy and fine. I am sure Charles is taking good care of you for me. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mama, I'm fine. Um, Mama, it's okay, Mama. God has been faithful to us. Guess what, Mama? I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling <few> girl. <laughs> she don't say. Ha! Odogu mefe. Onyu pu no gbara. Ama mama si ama si. Me. Congratulations. Eh. You have done like my child. Hey. Just take good care of yourself. Hmm? Be taking good water, plenty of water, fresh food, be eating well. So that your baby will be healthy. Take good care of yourself. Oh. I miss you so much. <laughs> I can't wait for you to come for me. <laughs> okay, bye.
Oh. So I was told you dropped by the house yesterday. Oh, come on, man. Why didn't you call me? I wanted to call you, but your wife prevented me from doing that. Your wife, Sandra, actually. Hey, 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 hey. Sandra is not my wife. And you know it. My bad. I forgot that. I'm sorry, man. It better be. I am. So why did she prevent you from going home? Well, I was about to leave. She... She said she wanted to talk to me. You see, I told her um, she wanted to name a prize. But unfortunately, she had nothing good to say. She actually wanted me to make you dance to her tune. Crazy, man. Really crazy. Sandra is not serious at all. Make you. Listen, man. I think you should fix this real fast. Because that girl is about to rain mayhem on you. Believe that. You better believe that. You see that? Yeah, so um, that's how we do it. Right? So glad to see you. Yo, what's up? Yeah, I'm sorry I'm late. So, when am I getting my money? Well, Frank here knows the boys. You give me a rate. He's going to distribute this according to the rate. He's going to get the money. We are going to take our percentage and send you your percent. Talking about court, do not forget that it's 60, 20, 20. 60? 20, 20. Deal. Deal. Yo. You know, this is actually my first deal with you. I do not want to. I, mean, I do not want to hear any from you. Yo, come on, girl. There ain't no time for trouble, right? I promise you, this is the best you can ever have. So, who's the guy you're with in there? The guy? Oh! Oh, that's Frank. Frank is my, is my nigga for life. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Does Charles know about him? Well, um, you see, Frank is my business partner. But Charles is like a brother to me. I don't mix business with family, so you know what I'm saying? Oh. You know, I, I think I like him. As a matter of fact, I want him. The fuck? Fuck. You've got a good looking nigga standing right in front of you and you're asking me to hook you up with some other nigga? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, I'll hook you up, right? I'll yeah. hook you up, right? <laughs> okay, so you know what to do. Do you know how to hook us up? Of course. I need him as well. Seriously?
Can I have a word with you, Sandra? Um. Shoot. <sighs> Sandra, what you and I had was strictly contract based on an agreement for you to help me get my resident papers. There was no love involved, no sentiment, nothing attached. Why are you doing this? And if along the way you started nursing feelings for me, you should have told me, but you never said a word. You kept quiet. Why would you want to ruin my home now? Why are you bent on destroying my family? What have I done wrong? Are you serious right now? Why are you so insensitive? Be whatever I did over there was for us. I did whatever I did for our future. I was doing everything possible to seal up your contract with Chivex in debt, thinking that would make you so happy and make you stay with me, only for you to leave me there and come back here with some woman. Are you? Are you serious? Are you for real? <sighs> I need you to understand that I'm a married man now. Really? I see. Well, I wouldn't be leaving your house. I wouldn't be leaving you. Not until you do the needful. Sandra, please. Tell me anything to right this wrong. Tell me anything. Anything. As long as you leave this house, as long as you leave me in peace. You get married to me in our own way. And you ask that thing to leave our house. That's what you need to do. Do you think it's that hard? Sandra, you know that it's not possible. And it's not possible for me to leave you or leave your house. Get that into your numb school. Sandra. Mm. Sandra. Jennifer Lopez or some Madonna? What the hell do you think you are? Look at her looking at me so naked. You know what you need? It pisses me off. So cost. You jinxed the sender from a shattered home. Let me have my tenement. Give me, give me, give me. You stupid. Ah! Stop it. Look at her stench. What's going on here? You should be asking her yourself. What have I done? What have I done to deserve this, this kind of humiliation? Just why did you bring another woman into our home to beat me up? No, no, I. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I. I I'm sorry. She slapped me. She. She. She slapped me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What do you want, Sandra? Talk to me! What do you want? I want her out of your life. And I want her out of the house. You know that is not possible! She is my wife. She is not your wife. She is nothing but a forbidden, bedridden wolf in a sheep's clothing. I am your wife, not her! Is there anything beyond the terms of agreement you and I have? One that I'm not aware of? 
Is there anything attached to the agreement? Talk to me. You're pushing me. You are testing my patience. It seems you forgot that your downfall is just phone call away. Get the father behind me. I'll be back in it. Don't miss me too much. I won't. Okay. What do you have in the fridge? So tell me. The last transaction in the last deal with it. Why haven't I gotten my payment? I asked the question. Why haven't I gotten my payment? You gotta cool down. I should do what? You gotta cool down, alright? I'm cool already. You see the guys we did business with? They had a little showdown with cash. But I believe before the end of the day, we should have our money. Well, there's a new deal. There's this particular allergy that I need to supply stuff to. And the information getting to me is that he likes girls. So I want two hot smoking girls. That is the only way we'll be able to supply. And then you follow up for payment. Do we have a deal? Sounds like a good deal. We got this one. Waiter! Let me have some champagne, please. I already told you I'll give it to you. I will, I promise. I give you my word. Oh, babe, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll call you back. Let's go. Babe, what is this game you're playing with Kelvin and his friend? I'm not playing any game. I'm just doing business with them. Besides, I'm getting a good digging from his friend. Okay, just be very careful. I don't trust Kelvin. Kelvin? He wouldn't even dare to do any rubbish near me. I mean, he knows the kind of person he's going to be messing with. All I'm concerned is you getting your child's back, not this game you're playing with them. Trust me, it is fun. <sighs> and don't you forget to add, it is also dangerous. It is not. Don't worry, babe, I can handle everything. By the way, his friend is so good in bed. Let's go, bad girl. You need to try him <laughs> Yo, homie. You gone down with that, babe? You already know what it is, bro. The only thing Frank cares about is the money and the good sex. No strings attached, bro. Just, you know how I like it. So I'll give her what she wants. She gives me what I want. I have my relationship. I need to concentrate on that. So no strings attached. I don't want anybody growing feelings. No feelings, bro. Oh yeah, I feel you. I feel you, bro. I'm made of the streets. So no feelings, bro. I feel you, bro.
Excuse me? Sorry, I kept my phone here. Me, who is that little, that mouse that took my phone? I'm, I'm sorry, Tim. I'm Did you actually touch my phone with your uncultured infested disinfect? My phone. I, I was cleaning here. I said, let me just push it to this phone. You touched my phone! Yes, let me. Follow. You want to do what? I'll be back. You want to put my phone? Yes. You were trying to what? You were trying to what? Ah! No, tell me what you're trying to do. You were trying to do what? Idiot. Look at her. Look how Millie paid. You had the guts to touch my phone. If not for one thing, I would have beaten the living daylight out of you. And I will stop with this. You ready? Fucking crazy. You want to talk like me, right? So that I will say your, your two parents together, they cannot even afford it. Imagine. Get out. Ah! Uh, I'm the question. Uh, 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 what did you do? Uh, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What did you do? Asaka! What did you do? Oh! Oh! Sandra! Sandra! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Sandra! Sandra! Oh, 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 no. Sandra! 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 What? Bro, you telling me that? Amara lost her pregnancy all because of Sandra. Yes. She was fine, I mean. I just went down the road to get groceries for her. And before I came back, they already had a fight. And that was it. You know, I think you should get Amara out of that house. Real fast. That's exactly what I'll do as soon as my wife recovers. Yeah, bro, you need to do that real fast. You need to get her out of that fucking house, I swear to God. Else she's going to kill her. I know this, I've seen the movies, man. She's going to fucking kill her. Sandra. It's all right, bro. It's all right, bro. All right? It's all right. Put yourself together. Hmm? Thank you. It's all right. Sorry for everything. Is there anything you want? Which I can provide it. You... You want fruit salad? Silence is killing me. Can you say something? I'm 
sorry. You know, if I were you, I wouldn't be hating the dying in this way. Because even your entire generation put together cannot afford it. And I was told that you lost that defamed half human being you had in your tummy. Oh, I'm so sorry. Was it painful? Did it hurt? Was the blood too much? Oh, I get it. You know what? If I were you, I would pack up my things and leave this house. Listen, if you do not leave this house, <laughs> I will pick your nose hairs. One, I will twist it up with a tweezer, one after the other. I will kill him. So you have two options. You have two options. Leave or die. What she said is true. That she will kill me and Chas is not going to do anything about it. What am I even saying? I think all she said is true. Charles did not do anything meaningful when I lost my pregnancy. What if I had died? Hmm. No. I cannot take this anymore. I would not. I need to let Mama and Papa know about this. I need to start packing up my things. But you know what? I will shock all of them. I will shock them all. They can never win over me. Huh? Mama. Mama, I am lost in everything. I don't even know if Charles is telling the truth. He told me that he's no longer married to her. But she's still living with us. And she's busy tormenting me and Charles. And Charles is doing nothing about it. He's not even saying it. All he keeps telling me is, calm down, don't talk. Calm down and do what? Eh? Does he know how it feels for one to go through this kind of pain you're going through? No woman on this planet, Earth and above, has the right to make my daughter go through what you're going through now. He, she cannot chase you out of your husband's house. Unless my mom, my mom. 
What is that? Yes. Why do you talk like this? Listen to me. All you need to do is just tell me when you're right. I will give you the real cocoa. I will give you real good stuff. You know me. You know how I am. You can see that again. The queen of UK. I will give you the best stuff. Okay, I'll, I'll call you back. Thank you. Did you... Did you see Amara going off? I said, did you see Amara? Since when did that start? I don't understand. Am I now her guard? Her guardian angel? I mean, why would you reduce me to that, 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 that extent? Why do I have to look over someone who has never gone for a spa treatment all her life? Please. I'm not picking. Really? You are working. Jazz! When you came to marry my daughter, you didn't tell me your intention was to kill her. Can my child let me finish talking? I'm talking. Mama, Mama, no, no. I, can you give the phone to, to Amara? Let me explain. Mama, hello? Do all the rubbish. But now when I set my feet into that city, my one here on Kujimiti again, man, I will show you both the stuff I am made of. Mama, Mama, no, it hasn't, it hasn't got into that. Uh, Mama, I can explain. Look, hello, hello, Mama. Shut up! I'm not you. I am not you. Yes, you heard me. I am coming! Rubbish! Oh, because of your attitude! Big! Happy me here! Now, you saw him up and he back Don't cry to solve any problem! They just see you as if you're a coward! And that is what you are! Did you again? Nonsense! This is of rights! He's your husband, he's your husband! Have you seen what you've caused? Have you seen what you've caused? What is it? What? What is that? No, you tell me what? What is it? Eat my lips. No matter what you do, how you do, no matter how hard you push me, Never marry you. And who won't take to? I'm just managing you. Stop crying. You don't have to keep crying. I'm here now. Wipe your tears. I have to follow you back to that house. Yes. I won't wait for your father to come back from his journey. You know he went for uh, for he went to his maternal home for funeral. I'll follow you back to the house. Let me see who will stand me. I will show that idiot. When that idiot accosts me, she will testify that Madame Genica has arrived. Mama, I understand, but please, I honestly do not want any trouble. I want the trouble. You see, trouble. My other name is trouble. I'm just pain that you're telling me this, this late now, when you have lost the baby already. If you had told me from the beginning, all oh, this would not have happened. By now, she should have been in her grave or back to wherever she came from. It's okay. Mm. All right? It's okay. Mm. You have me. You have me. Oh, no, what am I mad? You have me. Marriage is not easy, Mama. Marriage it's, is not easy. It's, that marriage is as you make your bed, that is how you lie on it. If you want your marriage to prevail and strive, it will. If you want your marriage to collapse, it definitely people are out there to make it collapse. Help you make it collapse. So stand firm. 
，我都不敢过。Babe, this place is so cool. I, I love the way Charles arranged this place. He has this for good things. You can say that again. I mean, that's why I went for him. Mm. So, um, where is your co-wife? That one. <laughs> well, I've not seen her for the past two days. I guess she's gone. That reminds me, she should be in the village because she has nobody in the city. That look at you. Wow. So you've got this house to yourself. Goodness, I trust you. There is nothing you're not oh. capable of getting. What about Charles? Has he had anything to do with you since you got into the country? I mean, anything intimate? Well, not at all. You know, he's been avoiding me, seriously. And he's beginning to bother me. But this is the only chance you have now that his wife is away. Try get him to do something with you. Drug him. Get him to get intimate with you. Now you're making sense. I'll do that. I will. Just try and pin him down. You should know what I mean. Of course I do. Bad girl. <laughs> Thank you for your two cents advice anyways. You're welcome. Hey, maybe you should try some. No, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. I won't have it. I, I, I love you know, you actually need this. No, I said I'm fine. You should take it once in a while. That way you'll be able to fall in love, you know. Mm -mm. I don't want to fall in love. Please, still, this is my answer. Uh-uh. I have prefer money than falling in love. You go. Yeah, but you don't, no, 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 let's say, let's say, we discussed about something. Uh, what you were supposed to do? She's the one. She is the one that's been giving me problems in my husband's house, Mama Sina. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you're the one the devil has sent? Yes. To come and destroy my daughter's life in her marital marit marit home? Sorry, did you just touch me with those wrinkled, wretched hands of yours? Eh? I mean, the same, the same hands you used to cultivate your stupid cocoyam in the village. Did you just touch me with it? Mama, that's how she is. Oh, my mother can say, but they're okay. Coming. Wait, wait, did you actually go to break? I brought You brought this thing to yes. fight for you? Yes, that's my mother. You guys are crazy. Eh? So you're calling my mother crazy? Like I was saying. You're calling my mother crazy? crazy. You're calling my mother crazy? Ah! I am here now. I said, go and occupy. That is what 
This is what the Bible says. Until I come. I sent you here to come and occupy until I come. So you actually brought your mother-in-law to come and fight me in my own husband's house, right? No, you brought her to come and fight me. First of all, I did not bring her. Really? Secondly, if you don't like the fact that she's here just like you are not welcome, you can as well leave. Mm. I mean, it's obvious. <laughs> it is obvious to me that you planned all this. But let me tell you something that you're not even remembering. I mean, not even anytime soon. You would not want to pay for their sins. That's a promise. But you know what I mean. So, she went to bring her mother to fight for her. My dear, she even had the court. I mean, the form of court to even remain, I mean, to still stay in that house. You need to have seen her. And what is Charles doing about this? Hmm. Hmm. Charles. Well, I guess he's probably happy because he hasn't said anything meaningful since then. Of course. He won't say anything, but babe, you have to do everything possible to make Charles take that one out of the house. Of course he has to. I mean, I have to make him... I have to persuade him. Oh, I can't stay one more day in that house without woman, trust me. I can't. It's choking me. <laughs> hey! Oh, wow. You know, you know, you know, you know, you Mama. <laughs> you and this your Igbo channel. Uh uh. Forget it. This one is very interesting. As a yard. If you got a bad 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 Wait, wait, wait. That reminds me. I saw you cleaning that useless girl's room this morning. Why? Huh? Nothing, Mama. Nothing, Mama? Hmm. They just ask you to do that. Mama, it's for peace to you. Hey! Good peace. If you like, clean that room from now till eternity. There will be no peace. Do you think you just get peace like that? Listen, you fight and get peace. Peace does not come to you just on its own. You fight for it. I don't know if Jas' intention was to bring you to this house and turn you into a boy boy. Housemaid in his house. That one will never happen again. I am here now. I am in charge. I'm a man. And if you ever in your entire life, do that again. You will not like what I will do to you. But, Mama. But what? Just shut up. And I bring you up. Give me a broth over you down. Are you mad? Huh? In your own husband's house. Get your head on the boy boy. Boy boy, you are Why don't they scoop soup for you from the side of the pot? I better ask over. I better ask over. I better ask over. I better ask over. Huh? What does she have that you do not have? Eh? You even more, more, in fact, you are even more, 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 more endowed. Let me hear you look at you, occupy Ebenine. Listen, occupy, sit down and occupy. What did I say? Occupy. Yes! Occupy! You would allow that girl to rule over you. Or one blow, she would turn red. And that is a sign of winning. Yes! Don't worry. I am here to give you peace, to make you occupy. She will not do anything. I am her match in every way. Her match. What is that? What is that? Thank you, Mama. I'm going to be your food is ready. I'm coming. Now let me finish this program. I'm coming. Thank you, Mama. God, let me finish this one. Let's go. Daddy, God, the more. 
don't let me go see them. Ha ha ha! Can't stop me, Are you actually eating? No, you are eating. Now you tell me why is my breakfast not served in my room? Excuse me. Are you my what? Because you're wearing this. Hey! 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 Are you stupid? You know, Bryce. How dare you? How dare you? Eh? That's good. How dare you touch me? Oh, this is what this is all about. Yes! Really? Because you've got your mother right? Don't you dare touch her again, else I will teach you a lesson you will never forget. Really? Before. If I am not going to eat in this house, then you should. I was expecting you to hit her so that, eh? If I hit her, what will happen? If I hit her, what will Mama, see, I'm respecting your mama. I'm respecting you. Mama, 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 So tell me, how did it go? Everything went perfectly well, baby. Don't you trust me? I trust you. That's my baby. <laughs> Come here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, babe, so he paid in cash and he confirmed that the stuff is really good. And he wants us to do constant supply for him. That won't be a problem. I trust you, baby. <laughs> we'll definitely supply him. You know, we're the surest plug in town. For sure, baby. <laughs> so, as long as he's paying good money, we'll give him good stuff. Alright, babe, so there's something I want us to talk about. Babe, don't you think we should get a better life? I mean, we have enough money to take care of ourselves. Let's travel out of this country. Start up something legit. Come on, babe. I know you do it for me, please. I really want us to get into something better, something legit, a better life. You know I love you. Yes, baby, I do. I know you love me so much. And that's why I want to make you the woman of my life. Because you think exactly the way I am thinking. Yes, baby. No, not every woman will think what you just thought right now. That's right. As a matter of fact, I'm already making preparations for us to travel abroad. Thank you so much, babe. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Anything for you? You know, calling you the love of my life. It's not enough. I oh. love you so much, baby. <laughs> I love Thank you, you too. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you too. Check this uh, channel, the Igbo channel. I want to watch the Igbo movie. Okay. You dare not! Are you stupid? I mean, I know you're stupid. Are you that dumb? And as for you, old woman, I can understand that you're aged. But bringing blind is something that I was not expecting from you. Not with a grey hair. I mean, not without a grey hair. 
Listen to me. If you try to change this channel, you change Jingy. I'm Major Kante. How you slap and slap the madness out of you and your mother? Who is blind? Blind witches. Who is blind? You head. Wait, up! It is your mother. Mama, <laughs> mama, <laughs> mama, please don't kill her. Mama, I'm happy. 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 Please, Mama, they are You know, Mama, you what you what you are, they don't have enough mortuary in London. Mama, please, stay. Hey, what? Let's go. Continue this. Mama, let's sit down. Enjoy the dinner. Mama, please, you're going to have to carry on. Hey, Mama, you see that place? You know, she sat. Sit, sit. Sit on that her phone. Mama, you are strong. <laughs> I think I'm you. Hey, it's a male boobie. Mama, don't you make any sense? No, no, no. Oh, no, boss. You're not choosing. But I've come. Can I make an Say sorry. Sorry for how my mother in law treated you. Exactly what I was expecting you to say. I mean, the way you talk so well about your mother in law, yes, she is maltreating me, and you cannot even say a word. Listen to me. You better make that woman to go. If she does not go, <laughs> you know what is at stake, right? I will so make her back like some Canadian Rottweiler. That's a promise! I'm sorry. Shut up! Shut up! Where is some wireless, some transparent photosynthesis? Meanwhile, you're black! Like some ink. I need you to know. I said shut up. I'm losing it. Thank you. You're welcome. You really You're just one phone call away. I don't think you realize that. I do. Thank you. Can I? Can I go now? Just shut up. Huh? Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm not comfortable with this. She did this to you and you did not do anything about it. No, babe. You need to file a case about this. I know you think I don't know what I'm doing. But trust me, I do. I just do not want Charles to hate me instead of loving me. That's just... It's so good. Well, you have a point. But babe, I told you you fucked up already. Yes. You can still do this even while you're out from the house. I don't know this woman, but something tells me She's like a beast. She's a beast, not even like a beast. He listen to me. I know what I am doing. To destroy Charles is not a problem for me. I just in love with him. Okay, yeah. Did you, you need to calm down and take it easy? It's okay, sorry. Just calm down. Take it easy. But I have this feeling you're not you're no longer safe in that house. I am safe. I am. Trust me, I'll be fine. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Some. Some. You know, from all indications, I don't think um, he's ready to have you back. Oh. Trust me. He won't even try to do something that will get him so pissed. Not to talk about of destroying him. <laughs> Where did he get that from? Was he the one that told you that himself? From his actions, I could tell. Really? Well, I'm sorry to bust your bubble. He doesn't have a choice. And to accept me back. And the UK Queen, remember? Yeah, I know. Listen, we got a new client. But the bartenders that we are out of stuffs. 
So what's up? Well, I do not have stuff for now, but I'll be restocking some. All right. So, you know, the truth is I do not want to travel for now. I mean, smuggling that stuff into the country is not a big deal for me. Not at all. You know, I like you. You're very smart. I hope our business relationship will last for a very long time. Huh? I only last with people that are loyal. Hey, come on. I know Tony Montana. I'm very loyal, you know that. Huh? If you say so. Kel. Yeah, bro. My house has suddenly become a battlefield. Since my mother Ilo stepped foot into my house, Sandra has been quiet. But did I fail to mention that my mother in law beat her up earlier today? Seriously? Yeah, seriously. Now that's some good news, bro. Trust me, I think she's met her match. And you should be happy. I think this is a good time for you to throw her out. Out of the house. <laughs> you have I no know. idea who Sandra is, that's why you talk like that. Sandra's troubles? Way better than her silence. Only God knows the chaos. Or should I say the evil? She is plotting. Yo, man, you, you, you haven't told me what you truly have with this girl. Is it just a contract marriage or there's something more to it? All right, I'll, I'll tell you. All we had was an agreement, contract marriage, so I can get my papers, no strings attached, no emotions attached. There is this company I've been chasing for quite a while now, Chivas International Limited. You know, I've been pushing, pushing, submitting all forms of quotation, but I never got it. Boom, they called me up that I'm there. How little did I know that it was Sandra who put my name in the list. So you see, my friend, this is the reason it feels like I am coughed. Well, I thought you guys had an agreement. Oh. And then after the contract marriage, you get your papers and then you're done. Because where I'm from, back in the days, in the States, before I got deported, that's how it works. Good. And that's how it works also in the UK. But well, here's the problem now. It feels like all my business partners were introduced to me by Sandra. And that's why she always used the word, one call away, one call away, one call away. It means if she makes that call, every connection that I have today... Down the drain. Down the drain. Now I see. I see why this is going wrong. Ah, she's got the pop. Yeah. She's got the oil. Yeah. She's got all the connections. All the connections. Fuck that, bro. Fuck that. Oh, you see, man. <laughs> what else would you get? Rich kid, Nigerian born in the UK, raised in the UK. Father was a multimillionaire. Father owned one of the biggest oil companies in the UK, and then when he died. He owed everything to his uncle. So you see how she owns everything. She has all the connections and all the contacts. Oh, yeah. Bro, you is fucked up. Believe that. <laughs> From the look of things, bro, you are fucking hooked up with this girl for life. No. Yeah. No, no, Kel. This is where you go down. No, Kel, that's <laughs> not true. It just feels like I'm in a ditch. Ah, uh, you in the real ditch. I'm out of here, bro. I got lots of love in my system. 
Now I gotta sleep. <laughs> That's your fucking shit, bro. You fix it. Hey, hey, hey. Kev? All of a sudden, it's my shit. I should go fix it. How about friends? Oh, yeah, it's your shit. You've been the one hitting that shit. Fix it, bro. Oh. So it's now my shit, my shit alone? Oh, yes, it's your shit, Charlie. It's your shit. <clears throat> I don't need this guy. Something I'd, I'd like us to discuss. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, something very important. Okay, I was actually seeing oh. the movie, but <laughs> it's okay. Um, my love, you for some time now, our home has suddenly become a battlefield. And um, I think we need to sort it out as one family, you know, nuclear family. I don't think we we'll, we we'll need our extended family to come see how we can sort our own problem. So um, I'm just thinking aloud. <laughs> I I think you're. I'm not saying she should go. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's her son-in-law's house. She's welcome anytime. Free to stay and live here as long as she wants. But I'm just saying, for the time being, for the time that we're having this dispute with Sandra, you know, she should... Um, I think that she should excuse, excuse us as, you know, two wrongs cannot make a right, yeah? Your mother cannot be on the high, high side and Sandra on the high, high side. Uh, you and I are low, low side. No. Uh, let's just let one high side go. Uh, and then let's, let's see how we can tackle Sandra and sort things out. Really? So this is your plan, right? No, no. To send my mother away. No, I said excuse and say send away, excuse. They are the same thing. No. So you want my mother to leave so that you and your wife will kill me, oh, right? Come on, babe. How can you say it like that? I have one wife. You have nothing to do with Sandra. You know it. Please, come on. Um, if you want my mother to leave, you go and do it yourself. As for me, I cannot open this my mouth and tell my mother to leave my house. So if you want her to leave, it's your house after all. Go and tell her yourself. Oh, baby. Actually, see you again before you Baby, it's it's our house point of correction. It's not mine. And and then and then Oh Fire down. <laughs> You like it, right? Mm-hmm. You know, you know exactly what I need. I do. And I won't stop giving you exactly what you need. <laughs> when you need it. And how mm. you need it. You know, just tell me anytime you need me to eliminate anybody and my boys are standing by, no, just no. at your call. I know what you can do, babe, but I think for now we just need to buy a plan. 
or step at a time. Sure. Whatever makes you happy. <laughs> That's what makes me happy too. And now, I think I'm going to... I haven't seen the woman you're talking about. <clears throat> Don't worry. You'll be seeing the witch soon. Good afternoon, ma. What's the good afternoon? Good afternoon, but why one way back? Good, good afternoon, what? Are you crazy? Did you just wait? Your friends are not even in any way better than you. That's not my problem now. If you're here, open up my problem. How dare you bring another husband snatcher, an executive husband prostitute, to come to my daughter's husband's house in Abuala? What are you doing here? Excuse eh? me. Excuse the wogi. May that excuse to kill you. Idiot. Are you not supposed to shut your mouth when an elder like me is talking? Am I not older than your mother? Huh? Asuruncha, did that is odd. If you get the husband, will you be able to keep the husband? What? Babe, you know, is this what you've been going through in this house? Huh? <coughs> My dear. This is how I have been dealing with some scrupulous enemies. You will try and get convinced. I honestly cannot take this. Eh? Hey, no way! Toss my sinatra, go! Let me see you off! Look at what she's putting on! Wait! I shall not come on, come on! Like friend, like friend! Ndiala! I got number two, I have come! Mama? Come there for Ndiala! Mama, what's happening? Who are you shouting? Is it another prostitute? That husband snatcher! She came with another husband snatcher! This one and the executive one. Oh, when you didn't Beluku. You mean Sandra? Is that her name again? Hey. That one, Yota? Yes! She came with one of her friends. Maybe, 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 wait. Maybe, wait, 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 no, no, no. Maybe I can't deal. That woman is capable of devouring a human. No, I can't take it, babe. I can't. Maybe, please. I'll see you later. Mabel! Damn it. that one! Listen to me! Listen to me! Listen to me! Listen to me and listen very attentively. Chiliki, let you be the very last time you will ever embarrass my visitor. Do you understand me? If you try it again, mm -hmm. I will make sure I busy those fingers of yours which you use in cultivating your, your stupid damn in the village. Eh? You, you will not someone. talk to my mother anyhow. Hey. You won't talk to my mother like that. You will continue. Because you managed to use close up to brush your set of teeth today. You not talk. No, continue. Continue. Talk to me. Come on. If I slap you, that is if I slap you, eh? I swear. Mm. You will ever regret having a witch as a mother. You can't oh, have a witch. She is a witch. She is a witch. Are you not a witch? You are a witch. Are you not a witch? Ah! You are a witch. 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 Ah!
get to thank you. You want me to personally talk about something? Sorry. 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 She had an argument with Mama, and then she left angrily. What? Oh God, this is trouble for me. Mara, why would you let this happen? Even if Mama doesn't know, you know. Did Mama torture her? Did Mama lay hands on her? She called Mama a witch, so Mama had to beat the hell out of her. Did she tell you where she was going to? No, she did not mention where she was going to. Why? You will not understand, Amara. She won't understand you. Okay. Babe? Did she shun my husband? What is wrong with him? Why is he so bothered? Is this still about this business? Or is there something more to this? You need to calm down, man. You really need to calm down. She's not been taking my calls. Listen, um, if the lesson your mother-in-law taught her to stay away from you because you're a married man and you need to be left alone. I, I see no reason why you should kill yourself. Kelv, you won't understand. I smell trouble. Trouble? Let her bring it on. She's got to bring it on first before you kill yourself with worries. Alright? So calm down, bro. You've got to calm down. get myself into this. Hey! Go, 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 this thing is in episode by episode. Mm -hmm. This one is uh, me. I've, I'm in episode nine, but because you came, I just put for you episode. Beginners nine. class. Uh, <laughs> that one is the actor. You, that's the one that with the gun you just blow the other one's head. Ow! Oh my! You like it? Mhm. Mm <laughs> okay, this kid. I wish him. Beginner. Hi, honey. Hi, babe. Hello. Hello. Hmm? Oh, I see. I see you guys are enjoying yourselves. <laughs> yes, it's Mama. Not nah, Doria, not nah, Doria. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> well, enjoy it now. Thank you, Mama. I think you should return to the village and let me have you know time to sort this out and make everything up right. Uh -huh. So that this is my daughter here will lose another pregnancy. Uh -huh. huh? Do you know how painful it is for somebody, a girl, a grown up girl like this to lose her first pregnancy? All because of that, you're useless witch. How come you claim she's your ex-wife? Yet she has refused to leave your house. Huh? Anyway, it's a bad bro. I'm here now. Let me see who. Get back. Throw your man's daughter out of her husband's house. Manayadio kemuram. 
Oh, get it, though. Mama, everything that you have said is nothing but the truth. Sandra is my ex-wife. Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing will ever bring us together. I will never do anything with her. She's my ex, my past. But your daughter here, she's my present and my future. Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing absolutely can change that. Good. Then why can't you drive Sandra out of your house? And they won't be there you are. No, we boy, a boy, a dear, yeah. No, I'm not getting there. Don't tell me to calm down. What is that? It's been now. Just say I know you. Calm down. Anyway, I'm here now. Let me see how it goes. See this, your husband. I don't even know if he's telling me the truth. He's telling you the truth. It's already a It's already a game. My hair is going to be nice. All I ask is one thing. Yes. Mama. 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 Give me time, very little time, and I will fix this once and for all. I am happy. That idiot is no longer in this house. But I will give a week's space to think before I can think about this thing you said. I'm not saying anything yet. And I will do you. Can I enjoy this thing? I understand how you feel, Mama. I totally do. Well, like I said before, just give me a little time and I will fix this once and for all. I'm not going to enjoy it. I'm not going to Let me enjoy it now. I'm not going to fix it. I'm not going to fix it. I'm not going What do I do now? Which way to go now? What can I say? What do I do now? Oh yeah. It's time I want to be a ton in my flesh. The deal we have in the past is long gone. So what do you want? You're still in my joy And you're making this life unlivable for me If money's what you want, then tell me I will pay I can't believe that you're asking me to stay This whole thing doesn't make any sense You know, you know, you know What do I do now? And which way to go now? Whoa, yeah what can I say? What can I do? Oh, what do I do now? I wish we to go now. It's like the whole world is crashing down on me. Everything is falling apart. How do I get myself into this mess? Whoa. What do I do now? Which way to go now? What can I say? What do I do now? Oh yeah, it's all I want to be a ton in my flesh. The deal we have in the past. Oh, you like the sound? This one is long. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> I'll buy this one for you. Eh? Yes, mama. But this one is like this. Uh, it's like Ooh. Chinese. Uh, no, they used to call it Brazilian hair. Eh? Hey! My enemies will see <laughs> that they'll be rolling on the ground, rolling on the ground, rolling on mama, the ground. Mama, you are an enemy. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I, I don't you know women are very jealous. When I had you, everybody, why did she have a boy? Uh -huh. Yes! <laughs> mama, this one, do you like this one? Oh! This is my color. This girl, what are you doing here? Huh? I thought you have moved on. Rather, you are here trying to snatch other people's husband. When husband says he does not want you, all you need to do is to go away. Are you a thief? You're crazy. Hmm? 
As a matter of fact, you sick in the head. I can understand that the cassava you've been fed with all the while in the village is beginning to affect your memory cells. Are you listening to me? You think you've got the guts to come fight for your daughter and lay your future hands on me? I guess you were not really tutored about the Queen of UK. Nobody fucking dares me. You don't get it? No. If you don't get it, you forget it. You dare talk to me like that? Oh, please. Oh, Mama. Have you forgotten what I did to you the last time? Mama, remind her. You know she used to have the memory loss. Remind her. Now, maybe she has forgotten how you dared to her. This girl, remind you want her. me to commit murder? If you don't live here now, what I will do to you, two ambulances will come and come. Oh, I'm bringing it. Yes! Ambulances. For your fucking fraternity, you can't cut. You know, I'm, I, you look like me. You're like my daughter. I'm one more. One way to know be one more because, you know. Excuse me? No, you tell me, does she look like I'm being fed with goat meat all my life? Mm -mm, mm -mm. I ain't eating that shit. Now you face the fucking wall. We are sorry. The wall. Mm -hmm. The wall. We are not seeing the wall. To the dog. 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 Baba and I move here. We are moving here already. We are moving it. Hey, you take care of it. Hey, sir. Damn, there it is. Oh my God, my leg hurts. My leg hurts. Your leg hurts. Why it wasn't hurting you when you were about to conceive this leg that you call a daughter? Now shut up and let me talk. Listen to me, I am going to give you a very simple instruction. I'm going to make this very easy for you. That is if you are obedient. Yes, we'll be obedient. Shut up! <laughs> Come up to now, you cannot even get brush your teeth with the better toothpaste. By the way, you need to go up there, pack your wacky tacky clothes, take your wacky ass out of this place right now. Ten minutes and your time starts now. Get up! Okay. I'm gonna move you! Get out! Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! You want me to do it right now? Nobody messes with the UK winner. We have here finally <laughs> the cat is back to its house. You know, if I were you, I wouldn't be making those calls. Like I 
said. Those calls are not important. You know why? I mean, were you expecting them to pick your calls from hell? Who the hell takes a call from hell? Please. Come on. Oh. Okay. Now well, you're going to be facing me. Come on. Hmm. What are you doing here? And where is my family? <laughs> the voice. <laughs> you see, I actually sent your family, I mean, your wife, back to where they belong. See, your, your, your mother in law thinks she, she can lay her filthy hands on me and then go scot free. I guess no one too told her about, I mean, she was not, she was not told. I understand the fact that she was not told about the Queen of UK. But I am so going to cut her hands in pieces. So, they're gone. What have you done? I'll wait for you upstairs. Same shit every day. So what the fuck are you going to do now? I wish I knew the answer to that question. The right question is, what am I going to tell my kinsman? Man, you should thank God she only succeeded in chasing him out. No one got hurt. Huh? You should thank God, bro. She chased them with a gun. Fuck! Bitch got a gun? Yeah, she's got a gun. Yo, my nigga. That shit is serious. Oh, come on, bro. You should have fixed this a long time ago. If you done the needful, I don't think this shit will be happening, man. What the fuck? Okay. You have no idea who Sandra is. You don't know Sandra. Fuck shit, I know who Sandra is. She's a fucking bitch. Yeah. I know you're scared of her. You're scared she's gonna fuck shit up. You're fucking scared she's gonna fuck all the shit you put together all these years long. Up! My nigga, you got a man up. If this shit was back in the States, my nigga, I'ma fuck shit up. Believe that. Can I give you an expo? What's that supposed to mean, bro? Sandra... <laughs> Sandra is way too dangerous than you think. Nah, my nigga. Sandra is a fucking bitch. She ain't dangerous, bro. Back in the projects, bro. We should dance for a living. What the fuck you think she is? Not exactly why you came back home. She guns for a living. You got deported and... You back home, so shut up, man. Yo, my nigga. If it was back in the States, man, I'd put her in a place, man. What the fuck? A bitch got a gun in my house? Man, I'll fuck you up. What the fuck is that? Don't I ain't got no time for that bullshit, my nigga. But can I just breathe without you saying a whole lot of fuck, fuck, fuck? Please. You gotta deal with it, bro. That's my shit. Deal with it. My nigga, I'm sorry for you, man. I think you need a whole lot of joints. Gee, you go through a lot of shit every day, bro. What the hell you deal with it? Ah, oh, fuck. I wish you were the one in my shoes. I'm sure, fuck, fuck, fuck. Sorry. 
So, all this happened in my absence. And no one cared to inform me. Eh? I thought you went for just ordinary visit. I never knew you went for a war. Nein. This one was more than war. War that appear in an appear appear. Ha! It was more than World War II, three put together. You should be thanking God, sir. We're not even shot to death. Would you just, would you just keep quiet there? You mentioned a war. Do you know what war is? Eh? Now, look at our daughter is back home. Eh? If you had told me of this earlier, I would have gone to Ishii Silas. Two of us sit down, put heads together, and discuss. Eh? Man to man. Probably we invite Charles over. She never told anyone that he was once married. Exactly my anger. If you were the way told my for. That was why I was very, very angry. But you handled it wrongly. You did not handle it well at all. No, it was due to anger. Oh, he were. Eh? Oh, he were. But I'm sorry. I am so sorry. It's all right. I'll go to Ishii Silas and discuss with him. I believe we'll be able to find a way around the logjam. Yes. Um, Amara, my daughter. Don't be worried. Okay? I'm very sure we'll be able to settle this matter amicably. Alright? So don't worry, okay? And so every day I'm crying, every day I'm shedding tears. Oh, tears, bitterness and so every day I'm crying, every day I'm shedding tears. Somebody tell me, do I go, do I stay? Should I run, should I wait? What am I gonna do? Hey, yeah, hey. Oh, beauty, when I'm a I am me with you, Romania. Hey, if there is voice for the voiceless, come and speak for me. If there is strength, for the week. That is why I am here. We need to find a way out of the present situation. I understand that girl is a very, very dangerous human being. She chased my wife and my daughter out of the house at gunpoint. Hmm. My Elo, mm -hmm. to be honest with you, I am very, very surprised. Because my son has never, not even for once, mentioned this to us. And I believe that woman in question must be lying. Oh. Now, come to think of it, how can my son get married without letting us know? Oh. Can that be possible? Oh, that is what I am wondering at. Honestly, we need to invite Charles. Let him come and explain to us more. I will send for him immediately. But my in law, please. I am very, very sorry for any inconveniences this may have caused you and your family. Remember, there must surely be a way out of this problem. Well, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. But send for Charles immediately. Ah, I will do just that. Yes. No, just, just stop this. Stop. No, you have to talk to me. So just, you have to explain to me where all this nonsense is coming from. Papa, I thought I've explained this thing to you before. Papa, what we had was a contract marriage. These things happen over there just for us to get papers and rest and permits. That's why I'm there. So I, it's not like I wanted to. It's not a real marriage. It's just contract and it ended long ago. And who did you tell? 
And if it is a contract marriage, like you said, it has ended long ago. Why is she back into your life? I don't know. Papa, who am I supposed to tell? I mean, who will I tell? This thing was contract. You know, we had contract that afterward, everyone goes their separate ways. But I don't know why she came back to my life. I don't know what she's doing here. Oh, my God. When I thought my son did not return back with a white woman, little did I know that there's a woman somewhere trying to cause havoc in my family. Papa, it's not what you think. It's not the way you're saying it. It was contract. It was meant to end there. Not, not have a continuity. Papa, I am sorry. I'm sorry. Later time, I'll fix it. Well, now just listen to me. Whether you will fix it or you're asking for a little time, see what you have to do now. Go back to Ichamadi's house. I mean, your father-in-law. Explain yourself to him. Beg him. Possibly, if we allow you to take back your wife. Papa, I can't do that now. I have to go back to the city, straighten things out with this girl before I come back to take my wife home. Is something wrong with you? Or what, are you what, are, what are you trying to say now? Wait, that you cannot take your wife back to the city? Or what? Papa. Oh, hey! Hey, whoa! Why are you bringing disgrace to this family? Papa, can you just, can you just give me some... Papa, please, give me a little time. That's all I ask. Charles, if you know what to do for you, do the right thing. You see, my alone, I am here to apologize for any pain my son might have caused you and your family. Yes, I spoke to my son and he has assured me that he is going to do everything possible to make up for what has happened. But there's something I do not understand. What the reason he has refused to come to your compound. Why? You will explain that. Uh, yes, I, I think in this time, there comes a time in a man's life he faces challenges. I think that's what he's facing right now. Huh? Uh, please, my in-law, I beg of you, let's give him a little more time. I know my son, he will surely come around. And my daughter? She'll be fine. Yes. <laughs> this just for a moment. And remember the enemy, the devil has come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But I'm very sure this time around, he's not going to succeed. He will never succeed, my in law. It's okay. I have heard all you say. But what baffles me most is that your son will come into this village. Eh? And considering the present situation, he refuses to come to my house. If not to see me, at least to see his wife. Huh? Uh, my in-law, please. I have apologized on his behalf. Huh? Please. Uh, look at him now. He's still a small boy. What does he know? Huh? What does he know? He knows nothing, yet he marries a wife. Anyway, I'm waiting for him. Uh, yes. You will not wait for too long. I know he will definitely come around. Yes, he will come. I wait to see him. Thank you for understanding my in-law. Thank you so much. I've been trying to reach your friend, but he's not picking my calls. I'm sure it's fine. I don't know, but he's not been back for two nights now. Please, can you kindly call him? Two nights? 
Uh, I just calm down in here. Let me put the call through. Charles. You know, I doubt if he's going to pick up your call because I've been calling him all day. I hope he will, actually. Oh. Hey, what's up, bro? What's good? Uh, yes, I came by your house earlier, but um, you weren't there. So where are you? Are you alright? Alright, no problem. Um, you take care of you. I will um, talk to you later, okay? Good. Huh. What did he say? Well, he's fine. But he wouldn't um, tell me where he is. <laughs> Something is wrong somewhere, you know. Something tells me that Charles is suspecting us. I mean, he took your calls, and yet he cannot tell you where he is. He can't disclose where he is. No, 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 this. Something is wrong. Uh, I don't think so. If something was up, he would have told me. And if he had anything to do with me, ah, I know Charles. He won't take my calls. Trust me. Everything is fine. Just calm down. Hmm? Calm down, you see. Yes. I'm calm. Don't worry, I'm sure he will love. He will come around. Okay? Yeah. Don't worry. Baby, you need to calm down. You can't keep hurting yourself because of this guy. I am actually sick and tired of all this. If getting him back is not working, why don't you... Get money from him. Like, let him settle you or something. This is getting out of hand. You know, I don't expect you to understand because you were not in love. But you know my problem right now? Is that he's not been taking my calls. Rather, he's taking care of it. I don't get it. He's no longer scared of what I'm capable of doing to him, no. I don't know where he is. And he does not want to disclose his whereabouts to anyone. Not, not even me. Babes, I just want to see Charles. That's it. I'm not going to eat him, you know. Then you better do something before he does. But what could he be possibly planning? You know, sometimes you ask me a question like a daft. I mean, come of it. Looking at me, don't I look as confused as you are? Anyway, uh, enough of Charles. Why don't we go outside? Hang out somewhere and maybe go clubbing later. I just wanted to have a breath of fresh air, forget about Charles, you know? I'm sorry I am not in the mood. Babe, that is the right drug you need right now. The How right do you feels. know the right pills that I need when you're not even a doctor? I just said I am fine. Period. I need Charles. But babe, can you please just keep me out? I would really appreciate it, you know. Thank you, Senorita. So tell me, I mean, why are you not telling me the truth? You promised me your loyalty. Oh yes, I did. Honestly, I don't know where that idiot is. Nigga keep lying to me. He wouldn't tell me none. I'm, I'm, I'm going crazy. I'm going fucking crazy. Okay. I think I know what to do. I'm going to, I mean, I'll be having him investigated. That way, he's not about to be disclosed to me. All right. But just before then, do you mind finding out from your friend why he's been avoiding me? Why he's not been taking my calls? Who's that? Frank? Yes. Can you do that for me? I'll try. I'll do that. Thank you. I'll get back to you. Bro? Are you telling me you're trying to dump Sandra? Yes, of course, bro. That is exactly what I am doing. 
Look, bro, I, I am done with her. It doesn't stop both of you from having a cordial business relationship. You can go on with your relationship. Trust me, it's not going to affect you, okay? I, I don't just feel the vibes anymore. I want to concentrate on my baby girl. I desire a better life and that is what I should get, a better life. <sighs> Nigga, you was dumb. Believe me when I see this, man. You were fucking dumb, bro. What the fuck is wrong with keeping this girl? Listen, you can have this girl and still have your girlfriend. Yes. Fuck you know she don't stay in this country. Look, I am no longer interested. It's, it's as simple as that now. Why are, you, why are you making this an issue? It's nothing, bro. I, I am done with her. Let me advise you. Don't fucking say this outside. Because if that bitch gets to hear this, man, she's gonna put a bullet in your ass. Fuck! <laughs> Look, bro. That's my fucking money bag. You can't do this shit like this. What the heck is wrong with you? Do I look scared? Do I look scared? Do I look afraid of... of a lady? No, no, bro. I am not scared of her. And enough of this discussion about this lady. I came to your house so we could discuss business. Some real shit. Bro. Listen, man, I know I know you feel no bad, you know. Smoking your cigar, puffing the smoke, and you think you're some commando. Ha! Bitch is gonna fuck you up. So I tell you, you better think about the shit before you do that shit. Padio, thank you. Can we discuss about the business I came here to discuss, please? Fine, man. You say you've got business to talk about? I mean for business. Of course, you know me. I'm the real businessman. So what's up? What do you want? Why can't you just leave my life alone? Why are you pestering me? What did I do to you? <coughs> oh, see who decided to pick up his calls. Do you actually think I called you on the phone to be listening to your rantings? Is that what you think? Okay, you have the house, take the house. Take everything, just, just don't call me on the phone again. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! I see you've suddenly forgotten what I can be able to do to you, right? Listen to me, Charles. I need you. And I can easily destroy you. Oh, please. As far as I can, you know what? Just go to hell. You don't even matter to me anymore. And if I were you, I would not even think of coming back to the house because I will so set you ablaze. Get off my phone, please. Should I run? Should I wait? 
What am I gonna do? Hey, yeah, hey. Oh, beauty, what I make? Anya, me with you, Romania. Hey, if there is voice for the voiceless, come and speak for me. If there is strength for the weak, Come on, fight for me. Ah, then I may. You've really got some guts these days. I was so caught off your wings. Very soon. Oh, dear. Bitterness and sorrow. Every day I'm crying. Every day I'm shedding tears. Oh dear, bitterness and sorrow. Every day I'm crying. Every day I'm shedding tears. Babe, I don't understand why you're disturbing yourself so much. Grab something so that at the end you will not lose out. See, have you thought about selling his house, the cars, or anything? I am thinking about going back to the UK. I want us to go together. Ah, you know, you're actually making sense. Why would I be going through all those things whilst he's somewhere having fun? You know, I should make him lose everything. Since my uncle this old be because of him. Because of the sucker. I think I should as well make him lose everything, including the contract. That's nice. Then you should act fast. There's no time. I'll just try and get my hands on the document. But I want to let Kelvin be involved in this. You know why? I don't trust him. And I think whatever document I get my hands on, be it the company, whatever. Selling it should be our own business, our secret. Well, lay your hands on the document first. Selling it should be the list of our problem. Hmm. I've got all the contacts. You see, that's why I call it the brain box. My friend, my friend. That's big girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for this. Common sense. It's common, but it's not but mm -hmm. and common, you know. <laughs> yeah, yes, hello. Uh, maybe I can't find anything. I've searched everywhere. All I saw was received to some things in the gadget, you know. I couldn't find any tangible thing. Come off it, you know, Charles. He's so smart. I am sure any tangible property or any Receipt that should be in the house, should be in the safe or in the bank. He would definitely not keep it in the wardrobe. Okay, I'll just keep trying. I'll just keep searching for it. Okay? Okay. Charles. You think you're smart, right? You actually think you're smarter than the UK Queen. Fine. I will take you back to square one. That's a promise. What do I do now? Which way to go now? What can I say? What do I do now? Oh yeah. I don't want to be a ton in my flesh. The deal we have in the past is long. <laughs> This is getting too much. Why are you crying again? Are you sure this cry is all about just jazz or something else? Is that something you're not telling me yet? Huh? Mama, what are you talking about? Mama, I've been in this house for a while now. And Charles has not checked up on me. Am I supposed to be in my father's house now? Am I not supposed to be in my husband's house? Mama, tell me. What will I tell people if they ask me why am I in my father's house? How am I supposed Hi, to? How is that a problem? 
Eh? How is that a problem? Are you the first and only person that has had problem with her husband? Is it something that will pass? Mama, that is the part I don't want to hear. That is not my wish for my marriage, Mama. I love my husband so much. I didn't wish this kind of thing for, for my marriage. Besides, you almost jumped into conclusion. Has he divorced you yet? Has he called or written you or told anyone that does not want to marry you again? What is this one now? How am I supposed to know? Mama, how am I supposed ah. to know? What if he has traveled back to the UK without that woman? What will I say, Mama? Is that why you want to kill yourself? Is that the reason you want to kill yourself? Mama, tell me why I just not checked up on me, his wife, since I came back to my father's house. Why? <laughs> It's okay. 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 I don't understand this other task case. I don't know what you're going to do about it. I don't want her to hurt herself. I met her at the back now, crying herself to death. What the no man? If my enemies see her now crying, they will gather and laugh at me, laugh well at me. And that is what I would never, I will not take it though. I won't take it from anybody that makes my enemy to laugh at me. Ah. Personally, I don't know what to say or do about this matter anymore. I have severally talked to my daughter, our daughter, as a father would to his daughter. Now, let her move on with her life. Forget about animal conscience. But she wouldn't understand. Wait a To forget about the man called Charles? Yes. Her husband? Yes. How? Or the possible? Did I forget about you? Are you not my husband? Did I forget you? You are asking me how? Now, listen. Do you think that Charles is still interested in this marriage? Oh, how do you explain his actions? Answer the question. I have simply asked. He came to this village and stopped over at his father's place. He did not bother to come here. He has forgotten that he has a wife here. Eh? Oh, and he does not even care about the fact that his supposed ex-wife, so to say, drove you out of the house with a gun. My. Hmm? Honestly, I don't even understand again. I don't know why that guy should not leave him alone. Or by force. Is marriage by force? Have you ever seen where marriage is forced on somebody? Her name is ex-wife. That means she's in the past. She should go to the past. Honestly, I wonder what is it you find difficult to understand. Huh? Do you know the agreement they had? You are still asking which agreement? You don't just jump into conclusions like that. God. God, please help me. Do not let my enemies laugh at me. Do not let, let them jeer at me. Eh? This girl now, 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 now that her Yibo husband has come, married her. The enemy is fighting from somewhere. I won't agree. Oh. God will not allow my enemies to laugh at me. Fools are by force. 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 Fools are by force.
What is that? Now listen, don't patronize me. I am not happy at all. Listen, Charles, I don't know why you don't want to come back home. Oh, Papa, Papa, you have no idea what I am passing through. Huh? Please, I'm begging you. All I need is a little time. I'll fix it. I'll fix this, please. Uh, 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 Papa, Papa, please wait. I should give you more time. And that time, you know, I don't have. Yes, I don't have chance. You have to come back home immediately. Papa, Papa, pa, hold on, please. I'll... Papa, all I need is little time. I'll fix this. And, and one more thing, Papa, please. Papa, can you just hear me out? All right. Help me let my in-laws know that all I ask is little time. I'll fix this and I'll come back and get my wife. Please. Mr. So Charles, I don't have anything to tell you again. Yes, Charles. You better you come back so that we settle this thing once and for all. That is all I want to tell you. If you know what is good for you, just come back home immediately so that we settle this thing once and for all. Bye. What is wrong with this boy? What has come over him? Don't force me to come back to, to come to the city and affect to myself. No sense. The deal we have in the past is long gone. So what do you want? You still in my joy And you're making this life unlivable for me. If money is what you want, then tell me I will pay. I can't believe that you're asking me to stay This whole thing doesn't make any sense You know, you know, you know What do I do now? And which way to go now? What can I say? What can I say? What can I say? What can I do? Oh, what do I do now? And which way to go now? It's like the whole world is crashing down on me. I'm getting better. You have to. Um, I spoke to Charles a while ago. Okay. Uh, he still requests we give him a little time. Papa, like how much time? I, I really can't say. But no matter what happens, please, my daughter, never you lose hope. Yes. Everything will soon be well. I know that. It's, it's not that easy, Papa, but I'll try. Try. My daughter, please, I apologize on his behalf. I can see this whole thing has really eaten into you. Eh? But please, you need to calm down. All hope is not lost yet. Eh? Please, calm down, my daughter. I beg of you. I'll try, Papa, but it's not that easy. I know. But I'm or try. But you have to try. Wait, let me give you something. Come on. Don't do that. Just even if just a small something to drink. Some time. Yes, just small, what small do time. I do now? Yes. Which way to go now? What can I say? What can I say? What can I say? What can I 
I regards to you, to my illness, yeah. it's a boom. not to have sense. Another person will have sense. You are still young and beautiful. Another person will carry you and make you happy. You don't have to kill yourself over Charles or chipping yourself before Charles or members of his family. Why must you go to his father's house? What for? Why look so stupid and cheap? You're looking for my trouble. You're looking for my trouble. Don't get me angry. More will I keep my mop my bogonte? Mama, I'm sorry. I did not go to his father's house. So I was strolling, I was taking a stroll. Then as I was strolling now, I now looked to my right and saw that ah, this is a change that route, make you Don't stroll that way. Stroll somewhere else. You are strolling, strolling. You now missed your way to his father's house. Do you need a suicide to say that Charles does not have sense? If he has sense, why hasn't he come for you? You two want to stroll and stroll and miss your head. Mama, you are talking because you are not in my shoes. Oh. This is not easy for me. I'm trying to put myself together. It's not uh, easy. It's not it. easy for me. Do it fast. Pull yourself together fast and get sense. Have sense in your head. When I was telling you to choose to be, be among those tutors that we have in your class and very ready to be with you. You said you're waiting for chance. Don't tell me I'm not your shoe again. If not, I will slap you. Don't say that to me again. Else I will slap you. I'm not in your shoes. Come on, put me in your shoes. Drag me into your shoes. Wow, wow, wow. You see what I told you? Help me with us. I am now in charge of all I mean, the house. I'm the only one here. Eh? I trust you. Welcome to my paradise. Thank you. Thank you. So, girl. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Hmm, thank you. So, um, what game is Charles playing? First of all, choose me. Well, thank you. I don't care, I don't know what game he's playing, but whatever he's doing, I'm sure I'm going to be into that. So, who cares? Well, I trust you. Is this house not boring to you? Let's go out and have fun. Excuse me. Please, I ain't going anywhere. I mean, not when Frank is telling my emotions. You want this Frank? Find someone else. 
You know, let's go to the club. You might meet a guy there. Excuse me. No, why do you always like reducing yourself to the point that someone thinks that a farmer is your father? No, why do you keep doing it? Why would I want to be picked up as a club? Okay, I can't do that. I can't reduce myself to that stupor. It's that point. Okay. I just want to be left alone. Thank you. Uh, I guess I should just enjoy my champagne. Great. So tell me, what do you want to have? Roasted barbecue? With the side goes slow. I just want to go out. And I don't want to go out. You should be able to read and understand the handwriting on the wall. I am no longer interested in us. Excuse me? <laughs> you can't be serious, are you? I am very serious. No, you can't. I was the one who initiated this relationship. And I should be the one to say when I am done with you, not the other way around. Do you even realize what I'm, I mean, I'm capable of doing to What you? are you capable of doing? Do I look scared of you? You think you can threaten me just like that? That's not possible. Okay? Are you walking <laughs> No, you you dare not. Are you walking out on me? Watch me. And if you stay there, I'll hit you. Frank! Frank! Are you sure you're all right? No, I'm fine. I'm just feeling a little feverish. I think I have fever. Maybe. Maybe on my way back, I'll buy you some drugs. It's okay, I'm coming. and lie down now. Let me quickly talk to your father so that we can take you to the clinic. Oh, mom. I just feel terrible inside. My, my whole system, everything is just like it's not me that is the owner. I think it's for somebody else. My body is not, it's not my own for now. Uh, uh, Sorry. Yes, Mama. Get up, let's go inside. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. No, Mama. No energy. No energy, Mama. 
Hello, sir. Thank you very much. I received the money you sent. I really appreciate, sir. I hope they treated you well, sir. You know, I'll always send you the best. Yes, I select the best. Forget your birthday. No, 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 no. I, I can't forget your birthday, sir. That is why I reserved myself for you that day. Yes, I'll be all yours tonight. Nah, you don't have to worry about anything, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Mwah. Bye. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Let us take her to the hospital eh, to find out if she's pregnant or not, so that we we'll know what next step to take. Nay, eh? I know what I'm saying. I am a woman, and I know when someone is pregnant. Remember, I've been pregnant before. Yes. And lately I've been noticing some changes in her. And those are signs of pregnancy. Mm. Yes. It's alright, but I still insist we take her to the hospital. Mm? No problem. Let us find out if she's pregnant. She might need some medication. No problem. It's alright. Let me tell her to quickly prepare. Please do. Oh? Do. Mom, that you're pregnant. Have you spoken to Charles? Have you gotten him on the phone? Because I know you have been calling him. Mama. I've, I've been calling him, but his number has not been connecting. I don't know whether he changed his line or something. Hey! Welcome back, you see, when you go Ah. I would have said, let's tell the chair Silas. Mm. Your father is of the opinion that it shouldn't be so. That you shouldn't go there. That they should come here instead. Mama, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I am just confused. <laughs> oh. I don't want to believe my enemies at work. Eh? I don't want to believe it. Let's see how things go. But I would have said, let's tell each other, Silas. Eh? But from the look of things, I don't think he had talked to his son. If not, he would have made him to come here since. Is that the solution? I don't know, I don't know. What, what do we do? Somebody tell me, do I go, do I stay? Should I run, should I wait? What am I gonna do? Hey, yeah, hey. Oh, beauty, when I make Anya, me with you, Romania. Hey, if there is voice for the voiceless, come and speak for me. Good morning, my dear. How are you? 
Have you seen Amara this morning? No, I did not. She could be in her room sleeping. Nah, she's not there. I looked for her in her room. She wasn't there. Probably she stepped out to get something. Eh. Then let me go and start cooking before she comes back. But what could she have gone to pick this early in the morning? You just ask too many questions. Why not wait for her to come? Then you hear from her. No problem. Let me go and start cooking. Thank you. Bitterness and sorrow. Every day I'm crying. Every day I'm shedding tears. Somebody tell me, do I go, do I stay? Should I run, should I wait? What am I gonna do? Hey, yeah. Oh, dear, do you wanna make? Anya Miri Jurumanya. Hey. If there is voice for the voiceless, come and speak for me. If there is strength for the weak, come and fight for me. We'll be our best. Don't worry, don't worry. I don't want to go inside. Yes, sir. Mother, I beg, no problem for trouble. You want me to go get sacking? No Don't worry, I don't want them to know that I'm here. Um, where is your girl? No, that's so. I don't ask you one small question. Since that day where you and Mama follow come up for this company, I never see you again. What's it happened? Um, don't worry, that's oh, nothing. It's okay, it's a long story. Is your guy around? Where is he? Madam, that one be under trouble. I never see you, Oga, for the past two weeks. Oga, Oga, no day this company. I never see him. You've not seen my husband for the past two weeks? I swear. I swear, me, say everything, say they confuse me. Two weeks. Two weeks. Did he travel? And then, and this question they confuse me the more. Because Oga moved today inside this compound. He moved to park here. I never used this my two eyes. See Oga. Madam, you do okay? Hey, yes. Um, no problem. I will come back later. In case my husband comes, tell him that I came. That he should Call me, it's very urgent. Like, okay. very, very urgent. Oga? Okay. Yes. But I'm no there. You say I took the ask question, which I want. And you say, you did good to me when you did this compound. This, uh, you still live here? It's my husband's house. Oh, uh, you sure? Just tell my husband that I came. Eh, uh, but I. Come inside, I come with them now. If you. No, no, thank you. Yeah? Just keep everywhere, secure everywhere. Yeah? It was my husband come, remind him that I came. Please let him come. He's very urgent. What can I say? What can I say? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, yeah. It's time I want to be a ton in my flesh. The deal we have in the past is long gone. So what do you want? Madam, I just in my joy and you're making this life for me, baby. For me, if man is what you want, then tell me how. But madam, I can't believe that you ask me to stay. This whole thing doesn't make any sense. You know, you know, you know. What do I do now? And which way to go now? What? No wonder his number has not been connecting. So he has finally returned to the UK, leaving me here in this village. And now I'm carrying his child. How wicked can he be, oh God? God, please. 
Please come to my rescue. This is too much for me. How do I get myself into this mess? Oh, oh. What do I do now? Which way to go now? What can I say? What do I do now? Oh yeah. It's time I want to be a ton in my flesh. The deal we have in the past is long gone. So what do you want? You still in my joy and you're making this life unlivable for me. If money is what you want, then tell me I will pay. I can't believe that you're asking me to stay. This whole thing doesn't make any sense. You know, you know, you know. What do I do now? And which way to go now? Whoa, yeah. What can I say? What can I do? Oh, what do I do now? And which way to go now? Oh, No news yet. Hey! What am I going to do now? Hey, Jimo! Hey, hey! Niamara, calm down! Hi! Calm down! Which one is calm down? How do you mean I should calm down? How am I supposed to sleep in this house without my daughter? What a kid and I roll out together. We all slept together. And this morning, I couldn't find her. But until this moment, she's not here. I'm sure she sneaked to the city to see Charles. Eh? No one could have come here to kidnap our daughter from the house. Eh? Let us wait till the end of the day. Eh? If there's no news, we'll know what next step to take. Right. I don't believe this is your city thing. It's too late for her to come back from the city. What am I going to do? Her phone is not even going. I still say, calm down. I agree it is late, but not too late for someone to come back home. You don't expect someone who has gone to the city to come back just so soon like that. Eh? Calm down. Nein. Yes. You see, I don't believe this your city thing. I am so scared. I am so worried. What if something has happened to my daughter? Where are you going? What do I do now? Which way to go now? What can I say? What do I do now? Oh yeah. It's time I want to be a ton in my flesh. The deal we have in the past is long gone. So what do you want? You still in my joy and you're making this life unlivable for me. If money is what you want, then tell me I will pay. I can't believe that you're asking me to stay. This whole thing doesn't make any sense. You know, you know, you know. What do I do now? And which way to go now? Whoa, yeah. What can I say? What can I do? Oh, what do I do now? And which way to go now? What can I say? Hey, it's like the whole world is crashing down on me. Everything is falling apart. How do I get myself into this mess? Whoa. Oh, what do I do now? Which way to go now? What hey! can I say? Can I come in? Your 
Eat, eat, eat. Nine. Hmm? You're not saying anything. Young lady, I did not kill my mother. Therefore, you will not kill me. What kind of useless and senseless move was that? If something had happened to you, what would I, what would I have done? Huh? You refuse to believe me that this your stubborn daughter has sneaked to the city to see that useless and hopeless boy that refused to, to, to care about her. Again, what? Papa, Mama, I'm very sorry. I did not sneak out though. It's just that I knew that if I had told you, you would not have allowed me to go. So that is why I now sneaked out. No problem. Now that you have snuck out to go and see him, what is the good news? Question. The good news is that there is no good news. You see? I met the gate man. I asked him about my husband. He said my husband is not around, that he has not seen him since. But his car is still parked in the compound, meaning that it's like he has traveled out of the country. You see? You see? I forget. You see? Oh. <laughs> so what about the other woman? Mama, I did not ask after her. I was so curious about my husband that I forgot to ask after her. But with the look of things, the house is opened, meaning that someone is there. Maybe she's still inside. I don't know. Amara. Sir. Amara. Sir. Can you not see why I continue to insist that that boy does not care about you? And and must not know about about this pregnancy. No, he needs to know. Eh? He is responsible for the pregnancy. Therefore, he has to know. Ah. Only ah. Yes. He will only know when he has come to his senses. But with his present condition, no way. He will never set his eyes on my daughter. Why are you washing your hand? Have you eaten? No, no, I don't like the smell of the food. It's turning my stomach. So what are you going to eat now? Oh, Mama. Just make for me indomie with egg. Make the egg to egg. Can you imagine? Sandra has been bugging my phones with calls, threatening me. Threatening me, Frank Montello. She don't give a fuck about no fucking Frank Montello. What the fuck is that? Your manager, I want you about this shit. You got yourself in this fucking shit, man. You got yourself out. Fuck that shit. I'm not scared, bro. I am not scared of her. This is not the first time I'm being threatened by a woman. <laughs> it's not gonna be the last time either. Do you understand? Like, she's just missing me. She's showing feelings. Come on. If she's going to bring up something else, she can bring up something else. I'm not threatening me. No one threatens the scorpion. Oh, yeah? I'll stink, you know. Oh, shit, man. Maybe you stink. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, I see you feeling like a bad guy. But believe me when I tell you, bro, that bitch is going to come for you. And what she does, I don't want you to run into my house like some bitch nigga begging for milk. And you're feeling like a bad guy, calling yourself Scorpion King. <laughs> the fuck is that? Bro, you ain't no Scorpion King, bro. bro. Look, you know women. I can't, I can't, I can't keep all the sugar for her. Come on. I need to share this sugar. She can have me. Sandra, it's old school. She's in the past. She's past tense. I need to move on. I need to share this around. I need to share what my mama gave me, bro. Don't forget that, that bitch. Come give us a plug. Whatever, whatever, bro. Don't forget that, bro. I'm broke right now. I need some money. I need some real deal. Something new. Come on. You see the reason why you're broke? Because you're busy sharing sugar. Instead of making money. 
Fuck that, man, nigga. You need to. What the fuck is you doing? Bro, you need to make money. You're busy going all over the place sharing sugar. What the fuck does that? You ain't no real gangster. Back in the state, man, we don't share no sugar. We go for fucking money. You fuck with my money, I mess you up. That's what's up. Nigga, you gotta go back to that bitch. Believe me when I tell you. Yo, if you wanna get some money, you go back to that bitch. Else, my nigga, you going back to your village. I don't give a fuck out that does. I need to make this clear to you. Sandra is past it. I have moved on with my life. Come on, come on, bro. I need some real deal. We're we, we gonna be talking about women here. Is that, is that what we came here to do? And I'm gonna make it clear to you. Your ass is going broke. You're going back to the village, bro. You're going back to the projects. I still have you, bro. You ain't got me. Yo, no, my nigga, you ain't got me. I got, I got, I got shit to take care of. <laughs> You got me to take care of, bro. I got shit to take care of, man. You got me to take care of, bro. I got you to take care of. You're a fucking man, man. Frankie. I just miss my Frankie. Babe, why are you so concerned about this Frank? Are you in love with him or something? Listen, babe, you will not understand. Seriously, I only miss him in bed and that's it. Trust me, Frank knows how to hit the juice board. He knows how to, you know, do the right things at the right time. That's just it. Now I know my friend's problem. But you can always get other men to do the same thing. I mean, you can get men that would satisfy you and equally pay you, even in hard currency. Oh, please. Those men can never be like Frank. It's not possible. Yes, I know this guy ran away with my money, but look at me. I'm not even bothered about it. I just want to see him. And I will not have Frank dump me. Instead of me dumping him, I won't. I just want him, period. You know what? I'm going to introduce you to real men. Hello, Alaji. I'm fine. How are you doing? Alaji, if you can add something to what you normally give me, I have this foreign breed I'm going to bring to you and you will thank me later. <laughs> Alaji, trust me. This one is out of this world. Okay, um... Alaji, if you add 500,000 extra to what you normally give me, I'll bring her to you. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Alaji. And what do you think you're trying to do? Wait a minute. Are you trying to pick me to... I do not care what you think. I just want my friend to satisfy herself, enjoy yourself, and in return, make cool cash. Thank me later. You know, you are so unbelievable. Thank you later for some what? Some old, average, I mean, aged pig. The last time I, I remember, you introduced me to some chief who could not even wake up an ordinary bit. I mean, he could not even do it, Jack. He kept snobbing. Here you are, you want to introduce. What does an allergy even know about satisfying and hitting the right spot at the right time? Down below. What does an allergy know? Just you see what I am saying? You're not understanding me. I just want my fang. Relax, you're Please. going to enjoy this one. He's going to satisfy you. You might even run away. Just relax, calm down. My Frank. I just want my Frank. It's obvious you cannot get over this Frank. But, babe, half bread is better than mine. I do not want any half bread. I just want Frank. I want you for the night. Okay, how much do you have? I just mentioned any amount you want. 35k pound. Huh? Why? Why would I give you 35k? I don't understand. Why, have you why asked you if I've, Wait, let me ask you. Have you asked if I've given my mom 35k? 
Forget about this. Let me just give you a. Let me see. Yo, the party's that way. Did you say the nonsense? I mean, that dirty, stupid thing that your friend was dancing with. No, 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 wait. Was he actually doing that to get back at me? No, was he doing it purposely? You know what? Forget about that guy. I'm going to hook you up some other guy. Oh, listen to me, please. This is not about you hooking me up with which other mama or whichever horse I've been. I don't care about them. I am talking about your friend. Listen, your friend just messed up. And I'm a f I am going to just fuck up and that's it. What the hell is going on here? I thought you was in love with Charles. And so? What's so up what? with all this Frank shit, man? You know what? I think you should just shut up your mouth. Go back in there and fix the shit with your friend. That's what you should do as a man. I am talking to you. You know what? I think I'm done with this shit. Of course you should be done. Yo, I'm out no, of here. No, you man. should be done. Bye. Look at him. Excuse me? Did you call everybody you say in the club? You retired it. You just... Imp. What? Listen, I have had it up to here with that guy's nonsense. Do you see what he did out there? I don't think you should do this. Why shouldn't I do Let's it? go back. I have ill feelings about You this. have ill feelings? Yes. I don't think you know anything about ill feelings because at this point, I feel so heartbroken. I need to go back and no, 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 bitch. Babe, babe, babe. Calm down. What do you think will happen if Charles find out you're fighting over another man? <gasps> no, this is not the game plan, please. You can get tougher guys to do what Frank is doing. Ah, here she goes again. Maybe you're talking about the last aged idiot you introduced to me that could not even last up to five minutes in bed, right? Just shut it! Excuse me, please. <sighs> so this fool thought I was going to be traveling through the country with him. So pathetic. I got my visa ready. Before he knows what's happening, I'll be out of this country. Vera. Babe. Babe. Something very important to tell you. <laughs> Vera! Very important something to tell you. Come and hear the very important thing I have to tell you. Should at least listen to me now. I deserve to be heard. 
she forgotten our plans already? Like, what is wrong with women? What is wrong with this gender? No. Babe, this is the reason I asked you not to go. Now look at the state you're in. If I beg you, I just want to be left alone. I beg of you. I've had enough. I mean, what is all this? Charles doesn't want me, Frank does not want me. Babe, do you know how much of my money that guy has been squandering? He sells my goods and sends me peanuts. Do you know how that feels? I don't think so. Maybe I'm in love with this guy. Okay. It's not about him satisfying you in bed or satisfying your needs. You're obviously in love with this guy. He, that is why you're not even bothered about your millions he's with. But everyone hates me. Frank doesn't like me. Charles doesn't like me. Everyone, everyone hates me. They, uh, it's okay, we... We're going to know how to walk around this. Know how to sort this out. Okay? Just take it easy. Easy, easy. Bro. It's your day, bro. Damn! Vera fooled me. Oh yes, she did. I, I thought we were in love together. I, I never knew her. I was the only one loving her. You know how much I cared for her? I started making preparations for us to travel to Canada. To start up a life with the money and... I never knew she had her own hidden agendas. At the slightest opportunity, she showed me that she is actually the devil in sheep clothing. Fuck shit, bro. You got played. Damn. Oh. So what's you gonna do now? What am I going to do? Nothing. She has esconded with all of the money. I don't even have a dime with me right now. I, I, I don't even know how to face this. I can't find her. I can't trace her. Bro, if you ask me, man, <laughs> this is Nemesis. Obviously. You tried to abscond with Sandra's money. And just from nowhere, there comes like a vulture disappears with the money. Who does that? <laughs> Bro, listen. Sandra trusted you. Yes. She left you in charge of all the business. All her business. You know why? Because she loves you. I, I, I didn't know she really loved me, bro. How was I supposed to know? I thought she was just there for the fun, for the sex, you know. Hell no, she was not. I know I betrayed my friend Charles by keeping him in the dark and supporting Sandra behind his back. But trust me, I will tell you the truth. Sandra loves you. You've got to go look for her, man. Apologize. I know she loves you, so she's going to take you back. Yeah. Vera is just not the woman for you. Believe me when I tell you this. I, I know women so well. Alright? And if you search your heart, 
you will see that you love Sandra. Damn! A bitch played you. Fuck. She played me big time, bro. Oh, yeah, she played you big time, bro. I feel, I feel fooled. No, bro, you've been fooled, man. Don't feel fooled. You've been fucking fooled. I... I just... I'm the most confused person on earth right now. <laughs> Nick, if I was you, I'll kill myself, bro. <laughs> All that money? Gone just like that? Because you want to... Nick, is you about to die in my house? Don't you listen to me, Sandra. I've beaten more than you can chew. You've pushed me into the wall, I'll tell you one thing. You can take back your contract. Take everything that you have offered me. I cannot trade my family for anything. You have done more than enough. I know why I kept quiet all this while. But you see now, you have proven yourself more than a tantrum on my flesh. I don't want to meet you in my house. I cannot trade my family for anything and you have done more than enough. If you humiliated my wife, you've made me a, a mockery in my, my family. Stay away from me, Sandra. Before I get to that house, I do not want to meet you there. Do not say I didn't want you. Do not say I did not want you. You can take back the contract. Take back everything that you give to me. Take back, take back your life and leave mine alone. I don't want you again. I won't want you again. Where is she? She. Here. Come for me. No woman don't ever find me come this house. So. For this gate, no woman don't enter this compass. It's where you travel, okay? No woman don't come this house. I, I swear. Uh. See you close. Hmm? I'm not joking with you. I will ask you for the last time. Where is she? Okay, for where you one. Okay, so you don't trust me for how many years? No woman come this house. Uh. Where? It's Sandra. Where is she? Madam Sandra, okay. since how many weeks where you travel? No woman don't come here. I never see madam. Nobody, nobody don't come this house. No leave me day, no leave me day this house. I swear, no leave me day. No leave me day here from morning to night. No leave me day day. You say, let me say, I'll be home. But I don't know where so. The other madam didn't come. No me ask, I make sure they forget to. Oh. I've been beg and beg and beg and beg and so they even me, I won't cry. Trust me, she come inside. Make sure she come wait for you. She no agree. Now the big arm. your cross. That's enough. I'll go back to your duty post. Sorry, sir. Sandra, you have woken up the beast in me. The battle line is drawn. It is time to sort this out once and for all. Yo, what's up, man? For real? 
You back, bro. Oh, 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 man. Oh, I'll be coming to see you right away, all right? Oh. I think it's time, bro. Yo, um, bro. Listen, um, See, I've been meaning to talk to you about something very serious. You've been my very good friend for a very long time. As a matter of fact, you're a brother to me. So I think I should open up. What are you talking about? You see, um, I've been doing some deals with, with Sandra. I don't understand. What are you talking about? <sighs> well, I've been doing some business with Sandra. Yes, making some money. As a matter of fact, I got her involved with some guy who now do business with and um you know once in a while get down <laughs> like that <sighs> well this is the reason why she's been comfortable in this country and as a matter of fact i do not think she's planning to go back anytime soon why i don't know but i think she's in love with this guy from the way i see things yeah, they in love. I'm, I'm truly sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so very much. What? Is this what you call open up? You thought I was supposed to be here. Did I overreact? <laughs> Pardon me, my friend. I'll, <laughs> I, can, I can control the excitement. It's uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Huh. Say, brother. <laughs> Hold on, bro. Are you not mad at me? I beg your pardon? You are my savior. You just saved a brother, man. Do you know what it means to get a Rottweiler out of my house? Out of my life? Completely? Really? You don't know? I should be calling you life saver. Life saver. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Here's what you should do for a brother, huh? Help me facilitate or, you know, hasten up the wedding. Let it come through as soon as possible. Make it real quick. Real quick. <laughs> now I should be feeling like a savior. You should. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what can I get you? Well, I want you to get me everything you've got, bro. <laughs> everything. Coming through. Coming through <laughs> My savior. Yo. Papa, I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry for everything that happened. You see, it's not my intention to bring sadness or chaos to this family. But I'll tell you one, one truth, Papa. Papa, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for... for the shame I brought this family. I'm sorry for everything. I regret everything that has happened this period. This phase of my life is, is the worst I've ever experienced since I became a man. It's been tough. It's been rough. But Papa, I want to let you know that I've sorted everything out. I want my wife back. 
once again, Papa. I am deeply sorry. <clears throat> well, son. You know, I don't have a problem with you here. But you have to tell this to your in-laws. Yes. With your actions, you brought disgrace to this family. But you gave more to your in-laws. You're very correct, Papa. I brought shame to my own family. I'm sorry. One thing I promise you is that this will never repeat itself. Never. Uh, I hope so. Please, Papa. Can you accompany me to my in-laws place. I'm sure with your presence, things will not be that difficult. But I really, really want my wife back. So now you know you have a wife. Yes. Well, I I had a contract with a company that offered me over 200 million naira. A little did I know that it was Sandra who submitted my name to the company and found out that the uncle has affiliation with the company. As a matter of fact, he's a friend to the CEO of the company. And that's how I got the contract. But I never knew that Sandra had an ulterior motive that if she helps me to get the contract, I must marry her. And so, and I, instead of losing my wife, the one I love, I decided to give up the contract. But behold, the company called me and my contract was intact. That is why I've been away for some time now. So I went to fix it and I am back. I am back for my love. <coughs> my in-laws, please accept us. And forgive. You have heard his explanations. And that is the truth. We are glad that the enemy that has come to kill, to steal, and to destroy has been finally put to shame. Though I'm not happy that my daughter is still in my house, but I've heard his explanation. I just hope he's saying the truth. I am saying the truth. Nothing but the truth. Are you giving me your words? My words, my bond, never fail you again, sir. There, it is all settled. I am sorry for everything that happened. At that point in time, no one will understand me. No one would understand my plight and what I was going through at that time. Where is Sandra now? I don't know. And I don't care. And I'll be ready for her whenever she comes back. But the good news is that the biggest contract I have ever worked for. Chief X Limited 
is sealed. And we are relocating to the UK. Yes. Relocating to the UK. As soon as we get back to the city, I'll fix your documents so you can travel with me. You have no idea. Seeing you in this condition is, is everything to me. I love you. You know, Charles, when you left, Peace of you still remains with me. I never stopped thinking about you. I know. But this time around, all of me will always be with you. Promise me you won't do this again. Like, Leave me all to myself again. I promise. I'll never leave you again. Uh, I'm sorry. I am so happy. So happy that everything is now resolved. Mm -hmm. My daughter, uh -huh. you can now go back to your husband's house. I have safe delivery under his roof. What? <laughs> eh? Me, do you know, I am happier. Because my enemies will not have mouths again to laugh at me. <laughs> They've all been put to shame collectively and individually. That's true. Eh? That's true. You see, this is my first move. I will so prepare well that this entire community will stand still. Mama, Mama, please stop. You and this your mugo thing. Ah ah. Oh, I don't go anywhere. Go Janaku. Mazukoni. Ebony because now watch. Come, go to my first achievement. The devil has been put to shame. So also all my enemies, they have been put to shame. Cover their faces in shame. Chuku, he ne me buka. Uh, so, my daughter, you have to behave yourself. Hmm? Minus what happened, and for the fact that we all misunderstood him, he still remains your husband. Hmm? My happiness is that finally, both of you have come together. I hope you're listening to what he's saying. I do not want to hear stories again, no. About one one on Neafe. Shoot by Mama Fly. I don't want to hear it again. Anya Sakita. Eh? Big Opa. Mama, don't worry. I heard what you and Papa said. There will be no cause for alarm again. Everything is resolved now. And I'm happy about it. God has taken control of everything. He answered my prayer. Amen. Hey. That's it. Hey, Mama. Mm -hmm. My husband told me that we are relocating to the UK. Yeah, he and Hey! Hey, wait. Don't, 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 don't. Hey. Yes, I'm coming to the UK for the Omugwa. But no. And I'm going to get away. <laughs> so I will now come to my first Omugwa in the UK. Yes, Mama. <laughs> we are going together. How? Men do not go for Omugwa. Both of us are no, her parents. Don't, don't worry. I will go. When I come, I'll buy you your shina and the other things they will put for you. Oh, yes. Papa and Mama, now you should stop again. Mama, you have not, I've not even got into the UK and you're already planning. No, 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 no. It's for good. Yes. He said, yes, you say it, it's all will really happen. It's good to dream big. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> if you don't dream big, you ah. will get big. No, for me, oh. no. Ha! I don't have to care. 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 
and I've gotten you a house at work. Since we're living there will be no need for that but everything you want and I'll be good for you. Huh? Well, baby, I've been at home since morning. I'm tired. I'm just... I just said let me just watch this place like right now. Do you want me to be lazy? No. But at the same time I want you to have a very good proof of rest. Huh? I'll be resting. I'm surprised with you. Surprise? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, yes. baby. I can't guess. What is it? Uh, just try. Um, 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 the papers are ready and we are leaving in two weeks. <laughs> Hi, this one is very sweet. Like, yeah. it, it suits you. It, it suits me. <laughs> I'm so happy. I know. Um, but, baby. What if we get to Obodo Yubo abroad? Who will be helping me after delivery? Of course. What of Mama? Can she come? Mama can come, your sister. Anyone, anyone can come. Just tell me who wants to come. I'll get documents ready. And room! Person is right there. Hi! <laughs> 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 sweet to you. It's sweet to you. <laughs> <laughs> What do men want from women? What exactly do men want? I don't understand. Men and women. <laughs> a man sees a beautiful tall woman And he goes complaining, she lack the will of power. You see a short woman, and you complain, she's short, she's brief, she's not smart, she's not intelligent. What is a perfect woman to the definition of a man? What is it? What is it, oh man? What is the problem? Vera has messed up my life. I failed to realize that I was in love with Sandra. Who oh, Sandra? Sandra? I really miss you. Beautiful Sandra. The only woman that has really complimented me. How am I going to convince her? How? 
how would I be able to tell her that she is the love of my life right now? Best woman in my life. Tall, beautiful, hardworking, business oriented. Oh. Look at all the money I have made because of Sandra. Now I've lost it because of Vera. Sandra. 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 I love you, Sandra. I want you back, Sandra. What are you doing here? I said, what are you doing here? Listen, what do you want? Listen, Charles. I'm, what do you want? I'm not here to cause any problem or any harm at all. I'm actually here to tell you that I am sorry. Listen, I know since I came back, I've been of bad behavior and more or less of and more of trouble to you and your family. But please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. I am sorry. I am going back to the UK, never to return. I mean, it's obvious I do not have a base here. I actually came back because of you. But I guess nature has this way you're not for me, so I'll just go back and then. I already reconciled with my uncle, so he's willing to take me back. I guess we're not meant for each other. I just want to say I'm sorry. And please extend my apology to your wife and your mother in law. I'm sorry. I'm also sorry for the pain I must have caused you. I mean to treat you this way. Mm. I won't deny it. I can write my success story without you. You gave me shelter. You gave me residence permit in the UK. You, you made me a big boy. <laughs> you practically gave me a life. <sighs> what more can I say? I'm sorry. I wish I wish I could turn back the hands of time. But unfortunately, this wasn't part of the plan. All the same, I want you to know that in me, you have found a friend. In me, you found a family. I'll always be there for you. Anytime you need me, do not hesitate to let me know. It's painful. It hurts. We just have to say goodbye for now. Be good. One, one more thing. Thanks for the contract. Congratulations. One. You're still my best friend. Oh, dear. So every day I'm crying. Every day I'm shedding tears. Oh, dear, dear. 
done that since so long. So long. Every day I'm crying. I'm crying. Every day I'm shedding tears. Somebody tell me, do I go? Do I stay? Should I run? Should I wait? Yes, yes. Come on, Fitz. What am I doing here? I mean, it's better for me to just go back. Charles is married to another woman. Frank does not even want me. So I think it's best for me to leave. Besides, you can always come back anytime and then we'll see. What's there? But I'm here for you, darling. Yes, that I know. But trust me, you you will not understand. I need some time to clear my head and then just cool off. I'm sure I'll be fine. Okay, I I really miss you. I know. Mm. That's your problem. <laughs> I'll come back soon. Take care of yourself. Okay, I know. So, time to hit the door. Frank, what the hell are you doing here? I, I, I am sorry. I came to apologize to you. Please. I, I know I've caused you a lot of pains and trouble. But after looking at the whole situation, I discovered you're not the only one who is guilty of falling in love. I am also in love with you. I am so much in love with you. There is a lot of things in common between you and I. And I strongly believe that we can work things out. That is if you are still interested in us. Fine. I, I am sorry. I'm sorry about your money. Vera made away with everything. And I know her karma will catch up with her too. But look, I am a changed person right now. I truly love you. I am willing to do anything, anything, anything to make up for everything I have done to you. Please. 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 So, Johnny cancelled. Should I take your box inside? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> no way. You're going with me. You're not going to... You're not staying here. No. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You are such a drama queen. No. Should I don't know. <laughs> This nigga doesn't give a fuck about it. I, I, I just, no, I give a fuck about it. No, Come you on. You, you can't do me like that. No, I you don't. You should be late. It's obvious right now. It's obvious. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Queen of UK. No, no, no. You don't give me that. Please, add up. Oh, you want more? Yeah, baby. Oh, over there, we drink a lot. Thank you. Here we go. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, this is for me. <laughs> So, guys, don't make those jealous, please. Oh, so, um, I want to make a toast to freedom for my real G. <laughs> <laughs> you know how we do. <laughs> freedom. Oh yes. Huh, don't that's worry, nice. you won't understand. I do. And um, I want to make another toast for all the successful businesses I have done. It's the real queen of UK herself, <laughs> and also another toast to the new face of love Aww. that we are all experiencing. 
can say that again. So guys, oh, cheers. 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 And more cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Nice guy. This guy is good. I know. Yeah, I. I know. Wow. <laughs> All thanks to my my real plug. Oh, ooh, Kubana. <laughs> oh, ooh. <laughs> Yo, he's my he's my supplier. Just a ooh. Just a ooh. Just a ooh. Okay, guys, I actually wanted to use this medium to make the food. I actually want to use this medium to apologize to you. I know I've not been good. I've not been nice. But trust me, if you ask your husband, he knows me. That wasn't me at all. I was just carried away. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm feeling so emotional right now. <laughs> um, Sandra, I've actually forgiven you before you asked. Really? Yes. Aww. <laughs> That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, words, words are not enough. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy that this, this is happening. I mean, it's been a long time. It's been war, war, war. But for the very first time, we have peace. We have happiness. So I'd say, cheers to happiness. Mm. Cheers. So happiness. Cheers, bro. Cheers, cheers. 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 So happiness. And more cheers. Yeah. And more cheers. <laughs> <laughs> so happiness. Yeah. Mm. More business. More business. More business. More, more business. Wine. But I think you guys are not noticing something. What? I mean, a person person's a woman, right? Uh huh. But from some people. Yeah. So I think my friend Miguel here is actually. <coughs> I also think I have a single friend who doesn't want to be hooked up. But doesn't doesn't look like he has a choice tonight. Two couples here, you know. Some people need to actually link up this way. Mm -hmm. And I think I my on this way. My best friend. Oh my ladies, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mark, what's up? Um. I'm sure you already know my name. I see. Why? 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 I think we're here. Okay. Now we're dancing. Now we're dancing. Oh. Don't get me drunk. Oh no, I'm not trying to get you drunk. I'm just um trying to make sure you have enough. I'm going to your ATM card. Yeah. 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 Y
strength for the weak. Come on, fight for me. Somebody tell me, do I go, do I stay? 